here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to race to the top. Ready to do this. And we are live from Abyssinia Stadium. It is the A7FL playoffs. The Las Vegas Force climbing across three time zones one more time, trying to avoid a very depressing flight home as they battle the number one seed, Trenton BIC, in our second Elite Game, uh, Elite Eight game of the afternoon. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Big. Rob Fabian live here on Stadium and across the A7FL network, across the known universe and gentlemen after the game of the year. Game of the year. Game of the year. That, that's a candidate for game of the year. It's an insane way to start this one. If you just joined us and you missed the rare breed going up against the Tampa Nightcrawlers. Where were you? Yeah, what were you do what are you doing with your lives? And a shout out to everybody watching us across the A7FL universe and everybody watching us on on, and everybody talking about us on Twitter, use the hashtag A7FL or follow us at the A7FL. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Rob Fabian. Guys, we go from one of the biggest games of the year to what could be if the win, ha if the Vegas Force walk out of here with the win, the biggest upset in A7FL history. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about how big of an upset it could have been if the Nightcrawlers would have just hand the ball off up in the fourth quarter with very little time left. And that didn't work out. So now we go to a game where it looks like it would be an even bigger disappointment for the team that's not the underdog. And, and, and the Vegas Force, they are the, the, the consummate underdog, right? Right, guys? Right. They're yeah. coming in, and they, they, they play a different style. They're, they're coming in, and they're ready, you know, chomping at the bit with a lot to say. But they're facing a, a BIC team, guys, that is running on all cylinders since week one. And, and as we look back at what happened in the previous game, if you weren't here, let's just catch you up on how great Mark Bagway was for the first three and a half quarters. Oh. Making men miss and delivering the ball downfield, that's a great way to start the game. And then just cap it off, finds his man with a touch pass. He showed that he had everything in his bag of trips, especially in the first half. And as this game got deeper and deeper, they shut out the rare breed scoring in the first half, making it 18-18, and then getting shut out for the last 30, 29 minutes and yep. 30 seconds. You could round up, and I think the Nightcrawlers wish that we would round up. Yeah. But those, those last 40 seconds meant a lot in this game. And that, that's just the tail of the tape, man. Football is 60 full and we'll talk about how the game ends, but this is just an example of both, A, the will that when the ball is on the ground, freight train from the rare breed is the guy that comes up with it we'll and get gets it. that ball it's and takes points potentially too. off the board 100%. for the Nightcrawlers. But it also it goes to speak, as, as we look at the dancing skills, it also goes to speak that, you know, the type of mentality that this rare breed team, they're going to be in here scrapping and fighting for every single second. Right. And, and it's a 60-minute game down to the bitter and and these two teams played their hearts out. And if you just check out the highlights on our social media, check out the highlights here. One lateral pass decided this one whole game. Lateral pass. And, and there's one of the rare mistakes from Mark Bagway. I think what today's game shows is that Mark Bagway is an elite level player, not only at the quarterback position, but just, you know, an general, MVP for yeah. his team because he was doing everything that they were asking him to do except for call the right plays in the fourth quarter. But shout outs to the Nightcrawlers because they show that they belong Woo, with a huge Goodness. hit. We're going to see that. Listen, we're going to see that hit on IG this week. Promise. And that actually changed the way that Rokeem Cheney was able to play for the rest of the game. Yeah, that one completely changed the dichotomy of this. But when we return here on stadium and across the A7FL network, we will get right into this one. The Vegas Force battling the Trenton BIC. It's winter go home season. Is someone going to be sad on the I-95 or are they going to be weeping in the airport? We'll find out.
Network. I'm Matt Ryan. That's Corey Hammond. That's Big Rob Fabian. That we want to break down for you. We're live here on Stadium and across the A7 News NFL. desk it. Right. <laughs> the A7 NFL News Network. Uh, but some storylines heading into this game. The J- Trenton BIC without Jason Sisson this week. Uh, death in his family. So our best wishes. Uh, be- our best wishes to Jason Sisson and his family dealing with a death in his family. Um, uh, our, our condolences to him. But talking with Carl Meisner, the captain, the leader of the Trenton BIC, the organizer of the team, the manager, uh, Trey Cohen and Umar Lewis are looking to step up, and those are two guys that we've seen in the regular season really bring that energy and really bring... Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, almost playing like a six-man role, coming yeah, off right. the bench, and, both and both of them have made impacts either three-on-one defense, as well as scoring touchdowns on offense. So I, I, I think, obviously, Jason on speed is something that you like to see today. Yeah. But I don't think BIC is too worried because they're coming in, you know, just reloading yeah. with and, a full deck. And if you've not seen the Trenton BIC before, let's break down some of the players for you. They're the third highest scoring off team in the league and playoffs with 300 behind the U and now the eliminated Nightcrawlers who had three. Who have an extra game, and that's yeah. why that's why they're right now third. Well, uh, Ashanti Worthy, in five, he's the returner, wide receiver, overall just legend for this team, the cornerstone of the offense along with Sterry Codrington. In 19 receptions, 576 yards, eight touchdowns so far this season. 14, and those are just the games of the week. Yeah, and those are just, yeah, yeah, 14 returns in games of the week, 408 yards, three touchdowns. He averages 3.8 receptions wow. for 115 yards and 1.6 touchdowns per game. Force will get the ball this and they will get much. the ball. Hus- bye. Force have won the toss, and they will get the ball. And this is the reason why they wanted to be I see to wait until the second half because it's an untimed down, and you just see what he did against the Snow Tribe in a game where the BIC won 80 to nothing. And I don't know if you know who that number 10 is for Snow Tribe, but his name is Cheetah. And when somebody's outpacing a cheetah by that much, I don't know what animal that is because it's not a human being. Sorry. And just, 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 how do you stop someone like that? How do you stop someone? Well, like Well, as Shanti you can see, teams have had trouble in the A7FL, <laughs> and there's a reason why we call him Hollywood. And LJ Smith, you're my guy. Wide open against one of the elite teams in the in the A7 in the Patterson U. He did it who, twice. And who, as great as those catches are, and as much space as Hollywood's finding out there. It's the play of Sterry Codrington that has brought the BIC from the number two team in the league to the unquestioned number one. Sterry Codrington's gone from a pass, uh, a run threat that can sometimes throw to an all-around quarterback that you just got a game plan for. And let's talk about in five game of the week appearances so far this year, 60 for 112, 1,452 yards, 20 touchdowns, two INTs. Wow. 53.5% completion percentage. That is impressive in and that's five not games. E- that's not even mentioning the 481 yards and six touchdowns he has on the ground. And speaking of on the ground, Anthony RTC Richardson was the cornerstone of the force offense last week against the Snow Tribe. Yeah. And Strong. you Strong. don't need... You don't need 275 for that when he's giving you a free ride into the end zone. And yeah, scrolling through, through Facebook, you know how expensive gas prices are, so you go with the Vegas public transportation and just get out of the way. And right here, this is the story of the game, and then you see this, this Vegas defense, that front line. What can I say except you're welcome? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing, and just setting up last week, Vegas with – I an easy say, interception there. Yeah, I wouldn't say an unexpected win, but a challenging game for that team to come across three time zones and play in their first A7FL playoff game. Well, I talked with Coach Mack, the coach of the Vegas Force, and he really believes in his guy, Rock Briscoe. You, sh- you saw him there in the cut um, right before we saw the team shot of uh, BIC saying their prayer. Uh, whoo. But... Um, you know, it's going to be really a lot's going to be on the shoulders of uh, the quarterback for the force because not only is he going to be calling all the plays, trying to keep this BIC offense off the field with this run heavy offense that the force bring to the table, but he's going to have to complete more than just two of his eight passes with an interception as he did against a what we'll say is a subpar defensive secondary in the Snow Tribe. So if he thought facing the Snow guys. In the heat was a tough task. You know, wait till he sees Verardi, Master Chief, Casey Fennessy, and everybody's favorite, Showboat, KWAC, why you do that. They, they get to shut me up this week and show me that they're coaching and game planning 
is enough to actually stop Steri, Ashanti, and that BIC offense. Well, if you have coaches on the field, that's their role is to put your, their, their players in a position, position to maybe There's make something guy. of it. And it's interesting. Every week you guys say that, the guy, the, that these teams should start with the ball. Well, Vegas Force asks for the ball. They get wow. the ball. And we'll see just the, the level of difference, maybe on this first three-on-one, as Pac Money faces the three on one from BIC. Oh, Pac Man Jones, not Pac Money. Oh, excuse me, Pac Jones. Jones. Yeah. Oh, th th these these packs are getting me all all <laughs> excited. Pac Man Jones. <laughs> and it will be Jones returning it here, Curtis Jones. Definitely. Who we boss. spoke with on Friday night on Twitter Spaces, and if you uh, follow us on Twitter at the A7FL, you can be a part of those conversations. Well, just don't let it be JJ's fault that Pac Man scores here. Yeah. Mm. I'm looking for Trey Coleman to make that tackle. He's, he's looking to make that tackle. Look, Look at, at him. him. He's ready to make that run. And that's and Abby Mansour, right, too. Those are some athletes on that yeah. three-on-one. And the throw, and this one will bounce one. into the end zone and roll out of play. Solid throw and not giving Jones an opportunity to make anything happen. So it'll be first and ten for Vegas. Rob, do you think just point blank, period, the game plan that the force are bringing in, this, this heavy run, and run pound it type of offense, do they have enough to come out? Potentially, best case scenario, do they have a chance to win this game? No. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 dis now, I that's disagree. Your, that's, that's your that's opinion. I disagree. And they come in here with a lot of confidence, but the right. defense they're facing is a level up from the defense that they faced last week. They're here. They've earned it, and I do respect what they bring to the table. Right. But when you look at the defense, you got a master chief out there, X, Psycho. You got Verardi out there. You got KWAC out just, there. I'm just and you got I'm a lot of dudes that bring not only the strength and the experience to the defensive line, even though some of the guys are rookies. These guys are huge. But there's some yeah. motors out there that are a lot different from the guys that they were facing last week. That's where the game is yeah. going to be won. I'm just glad changes. my man Bucket had his back. Three on the line. Now we you see the big back. man Siva. Siva Woos in, in the backfield. In motion oh. was James Samuel oh. Jr. putting the oh, pressure. My goodness. And this defense from the BIC. Calling out Anthony Wilkerson on the first play. I guess size doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> some hateful eyes on that man. Ferrari has some public hateful eyes. Public transportation in RTC is not going to uh, work if they get a flat tire in the backfield. Nope. And so, it's really nice when you go against the snow trap and you're able to push them around. But yeah. there's a lot of force players doing the old turn around and look and not because touching they're guys. They're shocked. They're shocked at the speed, the aggression, the the furiousness that they just face. They face the snow tribe. I tried to tell them that, guys, you're going to face the number one team in the league. This is a different game. Please be prepared. Please. We, we, we pleaded. And they change it up here. Two wide receiver set, three on the line. The snap. Briscoe in trouble. Immediately met with derision and brought down at the 15. He's getting touched by three or four players from the BIC. Though. And he had Side enough time ball. to potentially find somebody. That you know, if you if you follow this league, you know that that's a little bit more time than I usually get. Stop. So if you can find yes. the, if you can get to the back, uh, if you could get to the back, look at him. He looks to check down. He has enough time. Let go of the ball. But hey, when there's that many guys there. There's four guys wrapped around him right four now. Four guys, and one of them ran off just for fun. So is that a quarter sack? <laughs> a That's quarter a good sack play each. by the defense in third and 14. These guys are not about defensive statistics in the playoffs, guys. Playoffs? playoffs? But on third and 14, if you're the force, this is exactly the opposite situation you want to be in because your <laughs> offense is not designed to gain even seven yards at a clip. And it will be third and 14. In motion, the wide receiver and a false start, possibly. Let's take a look what the officials will call. That's a big wide receiver coming in motion, so you better watch out for that crack block, number six. Abby is just as big, if not bigger. Abby's a big man. And it'll be back and move it back another five yards. And it'll be third and 19. Even better. Not good. It's exactly what you want. And it will be first and 10. Pardon me, third and 19. Coach Mack trucks in his guy, Rock Briscoe, so yeah. let's see if he can make a play. He, he, trusts, he trusts his quarterback, and they ooh. ooh. Ferrari Got jumping jump the line in. there. That would, that's a close call because nice. the, the oh, movement nice. from Ferrari forced the reaction from the offensive player, so that's a tough one. That's a, that's a uh, pick em call. I'm not a big fan. I, I, th I don't think that was something that – and it would be third and 24 now, and the, the force digging themselves deep. But as we saw in the last game, 
anything can actually can happen. happen. It's early. It's way too early. Yeah, and they're bolstering up that line. The force have to make the adjustment to understand who they're playing against. Well, watch on the edge here. The snap, the handoff. Cuts downfield, finds a lane, but will not get far. Will get a gain of maybe about two, and it will be fourth down, and the psycho with the tackle. Yeah, the way of force are built, they're not afraid on third and long. And a flag here. That's, that's going to be a big penalty if it's on BIC, because if it's an unsportsmanlike conduct, it doesn't matter how many yards. It's an automatic first. Let's take a look here on the play, that and that's a, it's a great block. good blocking. Great block. He blocked two guys on that one. Yeah, that was a great block. And trying to. On the defense, that's a 50-yard okay, okay. penalty. Uh, okay, yeah, this, this, this. And it will be a defensive call. It will be a flat flag on the BIC. Yeah, that was a little too much on the tackle. Yeah, and it will be a replay of down. We'll see what the action, where, where the ball is positioned. Well, if they call the personal foul, then it's automatic first, and then you don't have to worry about the conversion. So, so listen, what the force need to do here is understand the defensive threats that they're dealing with. Box Verardi out. Set your big guys on guys like K-Wax to stalemate him and run the ball down there. It's also and early. And this is the and first time we're seeing Jones, and it'll be third down. And it's also early. They still have to get used to the speed that they're facing, and just yeah, like they did true. against Snow Tribe last, last and week. And they're fading here go, here Jones here. They're fading Jones and stopped. And another big play by this BIC defense, and it'll be fourth down. Jones had the opening. Relentless pressure from the, the, the Psycho brothers, Master Chief and Verardi. And when you're a quarterback and you got three white jerseys rushing at you, going to be really tough. He needs to keep three on the line yeah. to help protect them. If I'm him, I'm going four down, max protect. He's a running quarterback anyway. And it will be second and 15. It'll be a f after that call, it was a first down, so a fresh set of downs for the force. But it will be second and 15. And the way the force play offense, what they want is to stay on track, and these negative plays are keeping them off of it. It'll be second and 10 here. And that's the neutral zone infraction variety, so they blow the play dead because it's dangerous, so you don't get the free play there. Like but it'll negate the loss on the first down and bring up second and 10. And Pac-Man Jones just came in, so. Yeah, this is the second play, and we saw him get in the play action, in trouble. There Briscoe is, is. throws this one deep and incomplete intended for Jones. It's tough when you don't have that enough time to, right. to anticipate where your wide receiver is going to be, and Jones breaks on the in route. But my question, Briscoe throws out, but it's it's all he can do is just get the ball out of his hands, and it'll bring up third and ten. My question for you guys is, with this BIC defense, it's a young defense, and we're seeing Columbia and Villarardi for the first time in a couple of weeks. We right, saw them in right. the Northeast Championship game, but not together. Right. Do you think that they're a little overeager? They cost themselves a big turnover here, and it's third and ten. And they've done a decent job in, in timeout by the force. Their first call timeout in this BIC defense. Not happy in the huddle. And there's leaders on the sideline there. And they are amped and they are hyped. But what we're, we're, we're trying to figure out right now is the difference between aggressive football and smart football. The best play so far on offense for the force was the penalty. But and it'll bring up third and ten because, you know, we've seen so far, at least early on, the force who want to run the ball, there's just not a lane yet. Not yet. And when they do choose to pass so far, their offensive line has to adjust with how quick the pressure is getting right. in. Right, and that's all they really need to do. Once the offensive line can make that adjustment with the speed that they're dealing with, and these guys can actually put hands on a few of these guys, it's a different game. Yeah, but it's also tough Watch when you're... Watch the slot, though. There's no one covering the slot receiver. You see the coverage right there right. on Jones, but that slot receiver is wide open. They hand it off to Richardson on third down, and they get to the 20. So when the Schnow Tribe saw that spread wide... Uh, you know, three wide receiver formation from the force. They played the pass, and which opened up running lanes for the running backs. You see there, they have two men off the offensive line, and Verardi is unblocked. And guess what? He makes the tackle and forces the fourth and ten. And that's a mistake. They think running inside of Verardi probably won't be quick enough to make the play. But what you're doing is, is you're playing option on that man because if he's a free man, then you have to have the two-way option. Running back goes left, quarterback goes right. He played the middle. Maybe a decent read from the quarterback to give the ball to RTC, who is a pretty good running back in his own right. And there's Ashanti Worthy. 
He'll be getting the three-on-one throw-off here. Force get the ball first, but they will have to give it up here on a fourth and eight. And the, and the Force can throw it out of bounds and avoid a return. Let's see what they decide to do here. And they throw this one up, and this one's a high arcing ball, and this one will not be returnable. Out of bounds, smart play, very yeah. smart play. By Hard to score a touchdown when it's uh, <laughs> all the way over there. And it will be first and ten for the BIC. When they get the ball, shot they were like, I, I wanted to run the football. Why won't you let me run the football? But it will be first and 10 for the BIC. Matt Ryan joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. And this is our first time seeing the Sterry Codrington led offense in the playoffs. Right. Had a bye along with the Baltimore Rare Breed in the knockout round, in the wild card round last week. And now returning to action after a two week layoff. And a lot of what you saw in, in the previous game at 1 o'clock from the Nightcrawlers, a quarterback that's able to account for that extra rusher. A spread offense that's predicated on wide receivers running downfield wide open. That's what the Nightcrawlers were effective at times last game, and that's what BIC has perfected this season so far. It'll be interesting if the Vegas Force are going to have a chance in this game. They're going to have to control Sterry from escaping the pocket and getting cheap rush yards, but also get pressure on him to force Aaron throws. It'll be first and ten. Worthy will get the ball off the handoff. Met immediately by this Vegas Force defense. Will have to change polarities. Cuts to the sideline and gets brought down around the 40. And this Force defense came to play, gentlemen. Yeah, first down, they win because Ashanti Worthy comes for the jet. They force them to the other side of the field. And against some teams, Ashanti Worthy might find a seam. Vegas Force play sound defense. That's, that's how they're, they're built. That's how they want to win this game. And on first down... They hold him to five yards. BIC on second and five, a five-yard gain by Worthy. Worthy and Codrington will talk, and then we'll meet. We'll see the BIC line. Four on the line for the BIC, three from the defense. Codrington throws left-handed. And watch out for number four coming off the edge. He was the man who got that sack fumble last week. And for here a comes the pressure. Codrington will roll out to his right. He'll get onto his bicycle, and he will go out of bounds around the 50-yard line. First down, Trenton. Somebody sent Maui flying. Yep. I'm trying to figure out who did that. I'm hoping it wasn't Verardi. <laughs> well, Sterry is looking cool back there, and even though there's a pressure coming hot off the his, his front side. It was wow. Verardi. Verardi, Verardi is different. He's a scary individual. Yeah, he he. He frightens me. He frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be first and 10, 8.01 left to go and counting. In the A7FL, the clock only stops after touchdowns, and it will be Codring. Charles Siva, who's playing the left defensive end for the force. That's a tough ask to hold that edge against Terry Codrington. Yeah. But he just got burnt that time, thrown on his back. You see a little bit of speed on the edge on the opposite side, and Codrington will keep oh, it, and uh -oh. he is met immediately. Oh, Cuts around the defender, gets into the open field, and brought down it, by number I, 13, I, Anthony how Smith. Is the, how was, was that? A great contain, but I don't know how he was able to just hus hus out of that. Well, how is that not a hit stick? I think the hesitation from the defense, as you see here, instead Check of going out. for the hit, That's they want to corral him. Wow. He goes backwards, and then. Number 13 is more worried about KWAC coming yeah, for the K -Wack, block. Yeah, uh, KWAC coming for the block. I would have just charged right in, but. Right. You would have made the tackle. Yeah, well. That's that, Anthony Smith, number 13 for the force. Second and three. Two wide receivers at the top of your screen, one in the slot. Worthy at the top of your screen. Two up top. Now and they're three giving Ashanti Worthy about eight, nine yard cushion. Wow. And on a that's second. A, uh, behind you, that's a up. quick screen. If yeah. That's I'm out there. You. Nothing behind you. And Codrington will keep it. He's going to get the first down and more. And he'll be brought down at the 30 and quickly dissecting this force defense is Sterry Codrington. That's a designed quarterback run. He hesitates almost like it's a, a self-designed delay. The defense takes that half step backwards, opens up a seam, first down. And there's the toss to Worthy. Worthy will get pulled out of play. And if you've never seen Ashanti Worthy play before, yeah, the, the, the force corner had two hands on him. But that still could have been a touchdown. <laughs> and they're still playing nine, ten yards off. Kaysan Campbell on the quick Hush, screen. And Kaysan Campbell, a guy who has hit his sophomore slump in this season. At but times, but at he's times. still one of the he, better receivers in this league. Oh, he is an elite receiver and a flag on the play. Just hasn't lived up to his own expectations, which for this BIC team where in four games on television, Ashanti Worthy scored eight touchdowns in the air. <laughs> it's just who he's compared to, which means that he's been struggling a bit, not scoring eight touchdowns in three games. 
And it will be second down. Pardon me, first and ten. And you see Worthy setting up behind Codrington. The two leading candidates for most valuable player in the A7FL this season. He'll set up to the left. Codrington will talk to his line and try to make an adjustment. You see three on the line. If they double team my guy with the orange hat, there's a seam up the middle. Watch for that. Watch for the handoff to Worthy. 6.02 they now. They plugged it up with the defense right there. And is dropping two. Five, oh, five in pressure. The toss to Worthy. Worthy cutting down the sideline. A flag on the play. This one might get called back. And speed option is a great way to beat the defense. You, you take a defender out by optioning him, but we'll see what the call is from the refs. So it looks like it was holding on the offense. And they will be taken back to the 31-yard line. Easy to get the edge on a run play if you uh, decide to give the old uh, give you a hold back there. We'll bring uh, a first. The, old, the old jersey inspection. It will be with the clock still running. 5.40 now left to play in the first. ZA7FL on stadium. It will be first and 20. I'm Matt Ron, joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. And we have not seen a score yet. The BIC coming out on all cylinders, but stopped and stifled by this Vegas Force defense a little early on, but finding ways to matriculate the ball downfield because of Kaysan Campbell and Ashante Worthy. The Force came into this game, and they were making sure that they didn't allow the big play. They've allowed a couple medium plays, but they're still right. in a good position on their first drive. Their defense is actually holding them together. I feel like they have a game plan, and it's working for them just contain BIC. And there's the sweep to Worthy, and Worthy will get a bit of a gain. A lot of contain them, don't let them get the big score, because again, I said it two weeks ago last week, BIC is going to score. It's about you know, how can you slow them down? Well, and on stop them. And in the way the force are designed on both sides of the ball, offense and defense, they're going to try to shorten the game, take possessions right. away from BIC, so each play, each possession means more. Because this might be the first time I've seen BIC held to zero points with this much time. Yeah, and this has been a long drive for the BIC and a quarterback oh, keeper. How much time? War Codrington slips, slides, takes it to the house. Touchdown, we BIC. Just, mark it right there. And because they're worried about Ashanti <laughs> Worthy, they forget that Sterry Codrington is just as fast, just as explosive, gets to the second level, yeah, makes that hit him. move, gets to the sideline, easy know. score. Letting and Rob, you, you said it. It's been that long for BIC to score. They right. just needed a couple more seconds. Right, it, right. I said it right after I said it, they scored. But again, you can't stop BIC. But how can you slow them down and now create opportunities for Courage your making to his come appearance and score? Force have to score. And just, just a little housekeeping here. After a touchdown, you're not going to see any kickers trot onto the field wearing soccer cleats. You're going to see football players executing a football play to see if we get this extra point. And they're going to go for a one point extra point from the five yard line you see courage at the bottom of your screen number five and we spoke with courage mosey and he said these guys were going to put in work today no disrespect but he he expected this offense and there's courage mosey getting the ball he's looking he's for gonna, contact he oh pushes my. the pile drives it in and he'll get into the end zone making this a seven nothing game so now the trenton bic are the first to get on the board and they ate a whole bunch of clock doing it the vegas force are going to be forced to respond on the other side of this break will the force find a way to get on the board or will the trenton bic continue to matriculate and hey make their way to their second straight final four we'll find out in a moment this is the a7 fl playoffs it's winner go home season we're live from abyssinio stadium on stadium I know that one. 
We're back live. It's the A7FL playoffs, and here you see Courage Mosey, A7FL MVP, a man who brought the BIC to the promised land in 2016, looking to do so one more time off the backs of Sterry Codrington and Shante Worthy, but that man can still ball one of the most dangerous in the A7FL. He said he was going to be here early. He was going to stand on the sideline, and now it's on the Vegas Force to, for them to respond, will they be able to get it on the board? And on um time down, Pac-Man Jones. Jones cannot get the ball. Trey He'll Cohen. cut through and brought Trey down Cohen. by Trey Cohen. Wow. Those are real dangerous wow. when you have an, a potential over-pursuit from the three-on-one team. Pac-Man gets free from that one tackle. He might have open field oh, in front yeah, of him. But Cohen six. all year has found a way to make an impact, whether he's playing on three-on-one defense, he's blocking down the field a wide right. receiver, if you want to know how to make an impact in the A7FL to make that next step to become one of the feature players, as we see John Soltis, <laughs> John Soltis. Uh, uh, Soltis. one of the ways that you're going to make your impact first is when you're called upon, no matter what position or what role, you make the play, and Cohen has been doing that all year. All year. And it will be first and ten for the force in unfri uh, unfriendly confines. They will be placed on the six-yard line. They come back out with a lot of size. They're going to come back with right. their identity. They're going to try to jam the ball down the field. Those big oh, but they spread the ball out a little bit. I don't know if Two this on is the a line. great look because they have might, the extra rusher this still. This might be an okey-doke, and they will do the handoff to Richardson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richardson will cut outside oh. but get eaten by the turf monster. He had some yardage there, and he's feeling a little bit upset about himself because he just got tackled by his own man Ugh, that, that potential for a big play there and tackle. it's not jj's fault there no, but it might have been fault. he got tackled tackled by the spirit of football he needs to figure it out that's that's at least six seven yards just left on the field well and that 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 action was working last week against the snow tribe you, you force them and it did work because you force the defense to honor the the action one way. You go back the, the with the counter. It'll bring up second and nine when maybe it could have been a first down. Offensive line got to get to chugging. And you can see a Rock little Briscoe bit. Briscoe at the quarterback. Four needs to find on somewhere the to edge. Find the ball. Four on the line. And they are spreading out wide and a flag on the play. This might be a false start. Soltis thought he had the biggest play of his career. <laughs> Offense. And again costly penalties mistiming on the route there the force not able to get off of the get off the schneid in the early going a lot of football left guys it's still only seven nothing the fact that the bic took that long to score shows the resolve right. of that force defense because there were some moments there where codrington looked in trouble but somehow mvp caliber play Man, right it's, it's what i've been saying the it's report card for the force score. so far on social media is at at minimum an a minus but right now, they're having to answer the call. Right. I guess and, the number one team in the league. It's, it's a tough one. It's been daunting at, at times. And the throw over the middle, ah. and that one could be a flag, but it won't be called. And that one called on 25. That was 25-8, Ricky Tate. That's which, good coverage. It was a well-thrown ball with some zip he is, on it. He is just, he caught that. He's just but staring into the soles of the defenders. As right. little as little room as the force have had, they just have to convert on this. Because yeah. maybe oh, if he catches hands. that, hands, maybe if he catches that, he can get a couple more yards because Ricky Tate was on that yeah, Ricky like was hip glue. To hip. Yeah, he was on him. But that's know. still a great play call. That's still just a bad. We were talking yeah. about yeah. it last week. If if the force receivers have to step up for their quarterback because he's getting pressure in his face. Right. We see Casey Fennessy, the yeah. white mamba, Watch, stepping in at the bottom of your screen. Watch for the, the speed end. off the edge. One linebacker set. Fennessy, and that one blocked by Casey Fennessy, who said, get us small bills because we're coming for that $25,000 in prize money. That $25,000 grand prize, he is coming for it, and he is looking to shut down. Well, even if they win today, they got two more. So maybe early on the bills, but that's how confident BIC feels. They don't feel like they're just going to be the favorite in this game. Guys, they feel like they're their favorite moving forward. Right. And if you're going to have two defensive ends unblocked to Rock Briscoe, <laughs> there's not much more he can do than no. just get the ball out of his hands. I mean, the force forcing the, what yeah, looks like order. fourth and 14. Wow. And if somehow the force go for it. The force do not they're throw not respecting the ball the off. Game. And we talked about this all last game. If you don't respect the game. It will not respect. Well, they they believe in playing all four downs on offense and defense, and that's a great that's great in theory. Wow. But when it's fourth and fourteen at your three, you might as well just give the the points potentially to PIC. And the the spirit of football, right now, 
Looking to do something. Briscoe throws this one want. deep and it gets to no one. And the clock will continue will stop as the transition of downs and giving up. Well, guess what? I, we're gonna we're gonna swing this positive. That's how that's how confident the force are in their goal line defense against this BIC team. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the half full glass here. It'll be first and ten. First and goal. Shout outs to the young bull right over there for the Renegades who's playing at seven o'clock today. Don't and if you want to watch that it. game, you can watch it live and exclusively on so YouTube. It'll be the Gators going up against the Renegades for the final four spot to play the winner of this game in two weeks after Father's Day. We're off next week for Father's Day. Happy early Father's Day to both of you gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to all of my dog. And no, this is fourth down. So okay. housekeeping, that all was right. third, this is and they should have gone for it. Fourth. And, and okay. All right, so we haven't lost that, our minds. That was, yeah, that, that was I'm about done. to jazz our scoreboard keeper. Uh, Let's get him after the well, it's the guy on the yeah. sticks, honestly. And this one thrown deep, and this one get will go nope. Trey, oh, off the hands Cohen. of Trey Cohen. I don't want Trey Cohen to get one so bad. <laughs> Look at his face, mean mug. He, every he, time. Every time. He seems like such a nice boy, such though. Such a nice guy when you talk to him. <laughs> Wholesome smile. <laughs> you know, well You're just spoken. basing it on his overall body weight, because <laughs> when you weigh in under 150, you don't expect the kind of fight that you get from a guy oh, like no, Trey yeah. Cohen. He has the fight of a six-foot Megatron. He has the same fight as Megatron, yeah. if not more. And we will see on first and ten. A well, crisis averted, guys. Yeah. Oof. And it will be on the 46-yard line. That's where the ball was spotted. Last touch by Trey Cohen. Codrington will have Courage Mosey Courage lined up behind him. Backfield. Four on the line. Ashanti Worthy at the top of your screen. That's a pass play when Courage goes to talk to the quarterback, which side he's blocking. <laughs> I've played with him before. <laughs> And it will be first and 10. The clock counting down. We're at 40 seconds. Playing a little too up on Worthy. An interesting call by Coach Mack in this Vegas Force defense. The handoff to Courage. Courage getting tripped up, and he'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage, and that will be a loss of one. It'll be 26 seconds and it, it one more very, play for the BIC. It is very rare for a running back of Courage's caliber to ever be brought down on first contact. Probably will never get him. Well, and the contact. Force, they've earned their spot in this playoffs. They've won right. the West Coast Division with a mentality of playing hard-nosed defense, right. physical football, pound the ball on the ground, keeping the game close. As with first quarter winds down, they're only down 7 nothing. So, so far, their game plan's at least keeping them in the game. It, it is. It is. And, again, I, I, maybe he was listening to me. Slow them down because you cannot stop them from scoring, but you must – you must produce on offense. You have to move the ball. You have to get that running game going. Briscoe has to throw a ball, and these receivers have to catch it. And at the end of 15 minutes, the BIC are up 7-0. Will there be a way for the Vegas Force to stop them on this drive? We'll find out on the other side of this break. 15 minutes of football down, 45 left to go. It's winner go home season. It's the A7FL playoffs on Stadium.
We are live from Ab Abyssinio Stadium in Wilmington, Delaware. It's the A7FL playoffs. The Vegas force on defense. Derek Codrington on second and 11 after Courage Mosey was stopped. Uh, Matt Ryan drawn by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. Winner of this will go on to play the winner of our 7 o'clock game between the, Vega, between the East Orange Renegades and the... Oh, play action thrown deep. Baltimore Gators. This one thrown. Caught. Oh, oh the hands wow. are worthy. Great defense, but a cod, a Codrington hey, the worthy that first target of the day. Hip. That cornerback was hip to hip. Yeah, but he I got haven't up. seen people cover Asante like that. Yeah, but he got up a little bit too quick with the incompletion because it basically was almost <laughs> a catch on top of his head. He, he, yeah. he should have looked for the ball first. But you know what this Great does rush. is oh, my goodness. that play action up top. It, it, it threatens the defense deep, so it opens up play. Wow, that's almost a catch. Oh, oh, and that's that was a well-thrown ball. That's that was the best thrown defense. ball of the He's afternoon. Out of He's out of bounds the entire time. Bro. Yeah. It was the best thrown ball of the afternoon, though, in my opinion. Defender really used the uh, sideline to his advantage. Right. Third and 11. In motion, the handoff. Great and that shot. one being brought to the 50. Won't be enough to get the first down, and that's Kaysan Campbell with the carry. But I'm sure when you call a play on third and 11 like that, that they're feeling really comfortable on fourth down to go for it. Because when you have a quarterback like Sterry Codrington who can complete the timing route, as well as if everything breaks down, still get that six yards on the ground. That's why we were talking about the force, even though it was probably a not go for it situation, fourth and 14 on your three. In the A7FL, that math a lot of time works out in your favor. Right. And it'll be fourth and six here. They just need something quick here. It's a quick six. I got a quick question. When did when is Terry Codger to turn into Peyton Manning? Watch him at the line of scrimmage. He's making calls. He's in total control of this offense. He's and he's no he longer had that swagger last year. Yeah, but last year he was he was a uh, uh, operating the game plan. Now he's the game. And it'll be fourth and six to snap, I, and okay. we yeah, but that's illegal no, because see, there let's is see no. What the line, let's see I, what the line. Let's see what the referee calls. That's a tough call because in this league, without a center you quarterback cannot, exchange, it's really tough for a quarterback. And you can. have gotten that call several times this season, and I've always asked, what is making those defensive linemen jump? And no one can give me the a spirit of football. answer. It's that Peyton Manning spirit inside Sterry Codrington's athletic body. Count. That's a nightmare, guys. That's a nightmare. First and 10, fresh set of downs. The BIC getting saved on that penalty. The snap. Pressure. A lot of no, time for Codrington. Here move. comes the pressure. Codrington nice will pressure, get to the guys. 40 oh, and wow. get to the 40, 35, and it will be first down. And if you're the force, you almost feel like you win on that play, but that's right. seven easy yards for Sterry Codrington. The I mean, pressure was. Everything else up, though. But the pressure was trying to get in there, but you see the pocket. That's a clean 5 6 count that he was looking downfield. So good coverage downfield, but still. The D line needs a little seven bit yards. Pressure. Seven yards on a broken play from your quarterback is and going to lead to a lot of points scored at the end of this one. And correction, I'm stupid. It's second and three. Thank you, Corey. 12 02 left to play in the second. BIC started. Never on stupid, defense. Matt. You're just super excited. Yes. <laughs> also starving. Ditto. Shout, some, shout, out, to number, shout out to number 10 for the fours, Dillard Davis, who's playing D line. He's our backflip specialist. We ah, wait, can't bat. wait to see him. Uh, see if he can handle, uh, do a handspring. And the quarterback keeper, Codrington, cuts down the sideline. It will be pushed out inside the 15, brought down and around the 12. It's not a matter of speed because I'm seeing that the force can keep up with them speed-wise. I think the misdirection is really causing the force. It's too many weapons on that BIC. Well, the sleight of hand and the quick play. Yikes. And a whistle, oh uh, probably a false start. Oh my. And Courage being brought down even though it was a dead ball play. Yeah, well, Courage is not, even if there's a whistle, going to ever stop. No, he will not stop. An offsides on the defense. Vegas is upset right now because BIC didn't look like they were set, even though they pretty much were. Wow, that is <laughs> number 16. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah Branch, Jay Money. Jay Money. He thought Courage had the ball. And uh, he did not. Our cameraman almost got okie doked on that one, too. Uh, the it'll fake. The misdirection. 
again, I don't think the force are lacking in speed or bodies to get there. And if you want to really break it down, that's a read option that number 16 was unblocked. J Money for the force was unblocked, and based on where he went was where the ball was going to go opposite. If he played honest on Codrington, it would have been handoff, but hey, first and five. And there's the handoff to Courage Mosey. Courage Mosey making his way downtown. Touchdown, Trenton. And it looked as if as soon oh, as Courage. Wait, wait, and they run, and they will call this one back. Yikes. Oh, Courage is saying some foul language right now. Oh, come on. It was unsportsmanlike conduct. So the touchdown counts. Looks like the, the, the touchdown will count. Big Tyler there. What happened? As soon as he touches the ball, guys, I feel like it was a touchdown because right there, that mismatch, nope, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> oh, man. I like the, living. I got to go to work tomorrow. I would have made the same decision. Rob, at this point in his career, probably would have made the same decision. Matt Ryan definitely goes for the tackle. <laughs> I'm going for the tackle, man. I'm not. I'm living life on the edge. Like I said, I played with Courage. I know how that same. I know how that story ends. I've and actually tried to tackle Courage once upon a time when we weren't on the same team. I missed. I've been tackled when he's gone for play actions. <laughs> Cross face. <laughs> I like my teeth where they are. Ah, uh, first and five. No, thir- that that touchdown will me of stand. One point They're going to go for the one point conversion, and then the fifteen is going to push them back on the three on one throw off, which will give the force an opportunity and Pac Man Jones an opportunity to make up some ground. 13 to nothing. BIC made their first completion, their first extra point. Going for one here. Not a lot of room. Only have five yards to work with. Codrington will snap, and it looks like we'll have offsides. Ball start on the offense, so they'll go back five yards, and it'll be a one point attempt from the 10 yard line. And when you see this Trenton BIC offense, they have got inside the kitchen of the Vegas Force defense. This offense is forced to respond now. And Pac-Man Jones can reset everything on an untimed down. That's why it's the most exciting play in pro football because anything can happen on those untimed downs and usually do. And we saw, you know, Jones get... One, three returns, 133 yards, and one touchdown, and the throw to Worthy, and Worthy will be stopped at the initial numbers. spot of the ball at the five, and it'll be 13 nothing. And up there, that matchup, maybe I'm number four is not, it. maybe number four is not tackling Courage in the open field, but, but he, he has been able to yeah, cover Ashanti so far, Ashanti down, which that's rare. That's, that's rare one of the see. toughest jobs in the A7FL. And that's looking like a, a bright spot on this force defense to stop or slow down Ashanti Worthy. Trey Cohen, hungry. Look at his, look at his feet. He's an angry man. So when you push it back 15 yards, guys, the normal line of demarcation that it's got to go past the 25 gets moved up to the 40. So really great opportunity for the force here. And the ball, remember, it has to travel in the air past the 40-yard line, staying in bounds. And we'll see who they send out for the force right now because they do need a spark. This is a great way to not only have a scoring opportunity, but guys, it's it's going to potentially put them in really good field position. And it'll be the best field position they've had all afternoon, and it will be Jones, Curtis Jones, making the return here. Now, Jones has never shied away from being the focal point of this team. Right. He is the vocal leader, or if you call it that on social media, his fingertips at least are the vocal leader. And there's a lot that they have to back up from what they've been talking all week because BIC comes into this game they knew that they were confident regardless of who they were playing, Snow Tribe or the Force. But the Force was just as confident as you thought BIC would be. And this one will be thrown from the 20-yard line. This one will make it to the 25. Oh, Jones. And Jones hits him with the Huss and gets keeps up right. He's got to get past me. Cohen. He'll get to the sideline, try to get past the Huss. other defender. Great Huss. movement there by Jones, but will only get to the 29. Way they might spot it at Cohen, the 30. But- Pac-Man Jones is showing he does have elusiveness. He does have the speed to compete against these guys. Um, I'm, I was impressed with the return. And uh, Yeah, but he went backwards from where he got when he was in right here. So he gets to the 30, 32 is the, 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 as far as he gets. And then he makes guys miss and maybe makes them feel a little bit of pressure getting back out to the, si- out to the sideline. Right. But he never gets back to the 32. So all this right. juking back and forth is really cool for Instagram. But guess what? In football... Ryan Cohen is, is a solid fundamental defense, uh, defensive and special teams football player and stops him at the 28. Loss of four. 
<laughs> Putting on the moves is great, but you got to get forward. And it'll be move somewhere. first and 10 from the, third, the 29, two running back set. Force got to pull something up from inside themselves and force themselves to start getting yardage in offense. And the handoff, this one to 31. He tries to make something happen. He'll get back to the line to scrimmage that handoff. Well, make, make it second and 10. And if the game plan is going to be, you know what we're doing, we know what we're doing, that's uh, O-Dog, William Alexander, with the carry right there. If, if that's what Vegas is going to do, they're going to have to have some kind of misdirection because if right. they're going to go straight ahead at BIC, what BIC has shown is they're either just as strong or stronger, and they're just as fast or faster. So right. when you're outmanned right now, which what the force look like when they're on the offensive side of the ball, they got to pull something out of the hat, and that's going to be on their coaching staff. And it will be second and 10, ball right. on the 29-yard line. That's the face looking for answers right there. Yeah. Rock Briscoe needing the He needs some help because he's doing some of what he needs to. And he'll take the ball here. He'll cut it up and get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play again in this BIC defense doing their job and just coming on in and putting in work. Verardi with the tackle. Verardi's playing left defensive end, making plays on the right side of the defense. His motor is insane. It'll bring up second and third and nine, excuse me. Third and nine. They gave him a yard on that one. The ball will be spotted at the 30. Briscoe will hand this off to RTC Richardson, and They're it will be same. fourth They're down. The same mistake. They're leaving Verardi too much space to penetrate that offensive line. And They're when they block Verardi, it's Master Chief. And when they block Master Chief or Master Chief isn't there first, it's somebody else. Right now, BIC's defense is either as or even more dominant than their offense to show so far today. Soltis making an appearance. And three in on the tackle. Verardi, Soltis, and... Columbia. He's got that great support for number 62, touching him on the back. Fourth and nine. And they're going for Briscoe. The I mean, they have to find some kind of spark. Yeah, they have. And Briscoe, not a lot of time. He gets the ball over to Siva, and there's a flag on the play. Siva's That's cute, eligible. but Siva's not an, not eligible, an eligible receiver. receiver. Well, let's get the call from the official. And he doesn't deserve the reward of the ball if he's not going to block the defense. Right. Master Chief right now yelling at Cortana for holding him back. Come on, watch the show. <laughs> Play the game at least. It'll be first down for the BIC, and let's see here. Briscoe. Looks like they set up the screen there, yeah. but when you set up a screen, you, you, you need to hesitate with the defensive rush just enough so that the quarterback has time. Not enough time there. And even though Maui, he's a demigod of the wind and sea, yeah, he is, it's, <laughs> he's not pulling up. <laughs> Anything from the ground right now. Uh, no. He's just messing around, but it's not working out. Ken Stansbury making his appearance with the hood on. And it will be first and 10 for the BIC with 8.20 left to go in the second quarter. And we'll see Codrington and company, including Kenny Stansbury. Jones. Man Jones has that look on his face. That I try to warn him about him saying, you guys have to really be prepared for a team of this caliber. They yes. knew that at no point were they saying that they disrespected the talent all, of BIC, no, right? So all. they didn't come in here saying, oh, we better, we better. But they did promise us that they were going to give us a game and compete. And right now, they're stuck in quicksand just trying to keep their head above water because if they can't stop the, breathe, the bleeding right here, because they're led by their defense, and if their defense can make a play, it's only 13 points. And, and right. what, their, what their game plan was is to bleed the clock. That's been working, and it's shortening the game. And We're not going to see 80. And there was rain in the forecast. So if it does rain, that might change things up a little bit, force both teams to run. Weather can be an equalizer, especially when BIC comes out in the offense that are in. But they, uh, as they're showing right now, they're pretty multiple themselves. Five on the line, Worthy to the right of Codrington. They will hand it off to Worthy. Worthy will cut to the outside. He will smush somebody's dome. He'll cut across field. He'll cut inside, and he'll get out of play in a gain of about seven. That's the old 60-yard run for a, co a total of six yards gained, right? <laughs> you, go, you go all the way 40 yards back, then all the way 27 yards back. The el elusiveness that Hollywood has in the open field. Because number four, he's smashing speed here. for speed. Slam. But uh, that's just not going to get him down. On me. <laughs> the hand Cur didn't even touch him. Right. Courage pops in his mouthpiece right here just to get one nasty. <laughs> nah. But he doesn't get it. But, you know, he gets the block. But he was looking for a nasty one. 
And it will be second and three after the gain of seven by Cur by Ashante Worthy. He'll be set up to the top of your screen. I'm going fade up top. Five on the line. That's too tight a coverage you have on Ashante Worthy right now just not to throw that touchdown. And Courage will set up at running back. Courage may veto this and just go for a uh, grounded pound. <laughs> And they cut into Courage Mosey. Mosey using the big man up front. And he'll get inside the five and be brought down around the three. Using Stansbury to help him move the ball downfield. And it will be first down for, for Trenton. Courage was looking to hurdle somebody. And he has the ability to hurdle people. I've seen it live and in color. Scary. I mean, shout out to the force defense for slowing them down. They're doing exactly what I think they can and should be doing. And we have slowing them down. And we have seen a little bit of a shift in play calling too for BIC as right. as pass happy as they've been in the in the last couple of appearances on games yeah, of the week. Today, it seems the like they're 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 committed to the run game, which right. which just gives the rest of the league something to think about. Yeah, this is new. This isn't B BIC usually goes spread. Throws it on everybody, puts courage at tight end. I think they're trying to show their versatility. They're yeah, trying to show yeah, that they can. And if you've got to prepare for both, it's a tougher week of yep. preparation. And it will be first and goal. The handoff. Courage immediately swallowed up by the turf monster and then the force defense picking up on it. It'll be second down after the loss. Yeah, and great stop from the middle of the defensive line there. The force, if they have a strength, it is those big guys. The guys in the trenches, they've been all season who leads the team 13 nothing. Second and goal. And it will be second down and a long way to go. Even though it's only six yards, it's still those are six hard yards as we saw in that last play, guys. Because the force isn't giving it up. They're actually doing – I, I still feel like they're doing the job. Slowing BIC down is the, their best chance of – And when it's 13 to nothing for the BIC at the oh. half and a fall – oh, that could be costly. That looks illegal. Big mistake by Ashanti where they jump in like that. Think you think some of that coverage is getting to him? I mean, number four has been clamping him up a little bit. I think, I think he's frustrated. I think that there might be a little bit of frustration or he's just – He's anxious to get on yeah, the board. He, we he know Ashanti Worthy. He, right. he expects to score every it's play. W it's one of those things where if you let someone – it's like watching a great jazz musician being stuck playing in a full orchestra, playing against his normal type of music. It's someone to where you just give him the ball, let him do whatever. Right. But they're trying to showcase the complexity of their offense. And Jimmy, this is, Jimi Hendrix playing the Ramones. Yes. Not even. Jimi Hendrix playing classical guitar, playing in a – Playing in a quintet somewhere in Central Park. Playing Mary Had a Little Lamb. Second and goal. <laughs> and Counter. The, and Worthy will get the ball. He'll cut down the sideline. Stop, stifle. No. Touchdown. B. I see Ashanti Worthy crossing the goal line once again this afternoon. Continuing to show that he and Sterry Codrington are 1A and 1B in the MVP race in the A7FL. Very true. What an effort there from this BIC offense, making it 19 to nothing with still a lot of time left and in the second is, quarter. And I direction. got a question for Demario Grace here. After he misses the tackle right here, he looks back to see if he can get some help from the sideline. Like, wait, what? Where, nope. Where were you Touchdown. <laughs> And another extra point attempt to come from the BIC. Just the kind of confusion when playing against the Shanti Worthy. Right. You know, human beings aren't supposed to be able to do some of the things that we see on a consistent basis from the guys on this BIC yeah, offense. Kid moves like a gazelle, switching directions on a dime. And after getting one extra point to have BI on their first touchdown, the BIC will look to light the lamp one more time on the extra point attempt. Three wide receivers. Spread them out. A lot of speed on the field. See, Co oh, four wide receivers, pardon me. Cohen in the slot, getting words from Worthy. Codrington under center. The snap, throw, and that one's caught by Worthy. And it will now be a 20 to nothing lead for the BIC. And when we come back here, on the A7FL on stadium, it's the playoffs. It's winter go home season. The force will have Pac-Man Jones trying to get them something heading into the half. Will it be a long flight home or will it be a short drive home for the BIC? We'll find out after this.
live from Abyssinia Stadium in Delaware. It's the A7FL playoffs, and here comes an opportunity. And you see Sterry Codrington on that highlight. And here we go, an opportunity for number 10 to return Trey. this one. Trey Cohen that's Dillard, okay. da that's Davis the third. Oh. Davis the third trying to cut through, trying to make something happen. Not but k Jones. That's Jones. Oh, pardon me, that's number Jones. 13, Laquan Johnson with the stop. That's a Jones. Courage is big brother. <laughs> Scary man right there. And he wears work gloves to a football game, <laughs> and you know he's there. Yo, those are what I bought. Those are hardware store gloves. And yes. we see here Codrington on that play. Just over the middle, beautiful yeah, pass catch. Rushing, yeah. And what you have to understand is that when you're a quarterback, when you have a two-man offensive line, you look to your right to look off the defense and then go back across the field to your left to find the open crossing route, which is hard to find in the middle of the, the, the defense, you know, coming screaming across the middle. That's elite-level quarterback play that we rarely ever see, even in the A7FL. It'll be first and ten. And a lot of the talk on social media between these two teams. So a lot of dollar figures being thrown around. I see a mismatch, mis mismatch with Pac-Man Jones. Yeah, I see a mismatch because there's four rushers. And, and, and he'll rushers. get the ball, and he'll be met immediately at the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Soltis with the tackle. He's an angry young man. I he think young where, would be the last thing we describe Soltis as. He's an angry human. That's an old man right there. <laughs> His knees are younger, though. His knees are actually probably six, seven years old. So there's that. Second and ten. And with 320 Salty. left to go. Come on, that's Lily's dad, guys. Come on. Yeah, hey, shout out to on, Lily. God. John Soltis made the right move. Ditching the Hawks for BSC. And Briscoe. Second and ten. As RTC Richardson set up to his right, three wide receivers set, two on the line. And the entire city of Trenton staring him down. Briscoe throws this one swatted by Casey Fennessy. And it will be third down. And Casey Fennessy counting those meta, those uh, rhetorical bills. His eyes. That is it. Why is Casey's everybody eyes. on this team so yes, angry? Sir. Well, the force asked. Is, is Carl And like they are receiving. Them? It's Carl starving BIC players. I mean, Carl goes a, a long way to make sure his team is successful. He is the brother in Christ. And it will be third and ten. Now, again, when we've, when we've seen the force successful this season in out west against Snow Tribe, they, they've played offense on their terms. So far, BIC has taken the, the game to them, and they're just trying to hold on. Richardson in motion. And a flag on the field. False start on the offense. With the amount on of the speed line. on both sides of the field, the refs are making sure that they... It'll be third and 15, Corey. The, the refs are making sure that they call the, the, the snap count very tight today. It's, it's a very big advantage, potentially, so they're staying on top of it to make sure this game is as straight up and fair as possible. But third and 15 is even worse than the third and 10. Regardless of what we've been seeing, with two minutes left in the first half, guys, what we need to see from the force are some chunks positively. Right. Offensively, when we look at the halftime stats, the force are really not going to be happy at all. They might be good with the, with the time of possession, but that might be the only stat that they're really going to feel comfortable about. And on third and fi 15, guys, we're going to see what Rock Briscoe can do with his back against the end zone. And when we return, we'll see if Rock Briscoe can get 15 yards and then some. It's 20 to nothing, the BIC in the lead, but there's a whole bunch of football left. This is the A7FL playoffs. Winner go home on Stadium.
We are live here from Abyssinia Stadium in Delaware. Matt Ryan joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. It is third and 15 for the Vegas Force. Richardson will set out, and there's another flag on the field. Let's hear what the ref's got to say. And it will now be third and 20. Another false start penalty. And, Corey, these, these missteps by the Force, we saw them last week but they're really starting to cost them. Well, it's both teams are getting these false start penalties. They got to get the clarification, make sure that they're doing all the right things. But as, as hard as it was on third and 10 for Rock Briscoe, third and 20 is obviously a lot worse. And he's, he's pretty much in safety range here if they go with the pass. And it will be third and 20. In motion is Richardson to snap. Throws on the screen, cuts down field, but immediately met by the defense, and it will be fourth down. That pass completed to number six, James Samuel Jr. They go with the rocket screen, but the great defensive rally to the football as he tries to cut back across the field, but, hey, you know, my man Big Mook has, has made his appearance in the last two appearances for BIC. La uh, the last time we saw him, it was against the U in which he had multiple plays in the second half, you know, as standout plays. And every time we, we call his name, guys, it seems like he's making a big one. It'll be fourth and 17, 142 left in the half, and Umar Lewis hoping that the force keep it in bounds. But a salve, and this ball will be thrown by Kyriel Davis, and this one will bounce out of play, and they will be marking that one at the 47-yard line. Who told me he's been playing like that because it's playoffs? Interesting. He told me, playoff football, he's different. Well, the that's interesting. Different, the vibe is different. Everything's different. Well, hey, well, it's win or go home. You've got the winning team walks away with twenty-five grand and the A7FL championship. You get the rings, the MVP ring this year. But from our friends over at Herf Jones, it is uh, it's big money, big playoff here. And you feel that playoff energy. We saw that in our first game of the afternoon. And if you missed that game, you missed an instant classic between the Tampa Nightcrawlers and the Baltimore Rare Breed. And just... Oof. An absolute clinic in how to lose a football game when you have it in hand. Yeah. The perfect way. If you want to know how to do it, if you were you were like just really interested, even if you searched YouTube, it wouldn't show up yet because we didn't classify it. But if you want to learn, guys, how to lose a game that you're up in the fourth quarter with less than a minute left, watch our replay on Stadium, YouTube, and A7FL Live. And Zakis Wright, a uh, former A7FL player, looking to help bring the A7FL to the Pacific Northwest. I'm down to go to Oregon. Y'all down to go to Vancouver? Yeah. Got your I'm passport? If it's football and it's no pads, full contact, all action, I'm there. No helmets, no pads, all action, the best football in spring football, the A7FL. Bringing you one more game this afternoon at 7 p.m. exclusively on our YouTube channel. You can get a, go to search A7FL on YouTube. And thank you so much for joining us on the stadium and fighting across the A7FL network. Minute 42 left to play the snap by Codrington. Codrington in trouble. Codrington will cut downtown. He's going to make his way upfield. Sterry Codrington finds his way downfield. Try to cut it and waves. No, no, no. 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 Hits him with the Matumbo. No, Touchdown. No, no. B. I see. And as easy of a touchdown as you're going to see from a quarterback who's just smooth in the pocket, breaks free of the extra rusher, finds a seam downfield, and makes guys look ridiculous as he just goes with the real quick cut. You watch here, that's that backward spin move. Now he's he, he just play, directing he did, he traffic downfield. He used playmaker downfield. mode in real life. Right. But watch here. This is this this is the next level, how comfortable he is. He sees a guy coming in, makes the one yeah, cut to no. his outside hip, and then there's no, just no, nothing no, you no, can no. do. Matumbo wagon, deep voice, easy oh. touchdown for BIC going up 26 nothing. And they will go for one here. Jalen Croom's sighting. Cut it two, two, con, two completed uh, one-point conversions so far today for the BIC. And they will go. They will go for two. They're still in this spread formation. They have four wide receivers in. They're really asking the force if they can. Oh, pardon me. They're going to go for one. And look at that pressure off the edge on the right on the right side of your screen. And here, there's that screen. Oh, and the ball comes loose. And 
And it will be 26 to nothing. They will not get the extra point. So at 90 seconds left to go, the force will be forced to answer the call one more time. And when we're on the other side of this one, it will be the Vegas force getting the ball on the three-on-one throw-off. Will the force find a way into the end zone, or will the BIC keep it a donut on the board? We'll find out on the other one, on the side of this one. Keep it a buck, A7FL on Stadium. We are back live. It's the A7FL playoffs on stadium win or go home season. The quest to win $25,000 in grand prize money on July 10th runs through Abyssinio Stadium. And right now it's running through the Trenton BIC, the number one seed in the lead, 20 to nothing. Pardon me, 26 to nothing. On the back of an impressive game from Ashante Worthy and Sterry Codrington. Codrington hitting him on the last drive with the Matumbo finger wag on his way to the end zone. And it will, oh, no. and right now it will be on Pac-Man Jones, Curtis Jones, to make the return. He's set up at the 10-yard line. 90 seconds left to go for the BIC to throw this one away, and they will get the ball at the start of the second half, gentlemen. I know the score looks crazy, but never forget that the Falcons lost a 28-3 to once upon a time. And we saw the Patriots, though, with Tom Brady. At the but we also saw the the rare breed get shut out for for 30 minutes, right. for 29, 29 minutes and 30 minutes seconds. 29 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> In the second that half of the last 30, game, boy. that final 30, and it, it just hook, hooked that 30 seconds to your veins because right. that was the best. Most entertaining football we've seen all season in the A7 NFL. I'd say the most entertaining football we've seen outside of some other organizations. We were all yelling at the top of our lungs. I, I'm surprised that we both we all have our voice. And Jones will get this one on a live oh, drive at the 19. Pac-Man drives through and just tried to plow through the defender, Trey, Trey Cohen. Trey He's saying there's nothing you can do with me. Yeah, the you level of athleticism me. on that three-on-one with J.J., Trey Cohen, and Abby Mansaray. Fitting that he's having pretty good games so far today in Abyssinia yeah. Stadium. Th that level of athleticism is probably not something that these force players have seen since their, their supposed days in the NFL. And someone asking, what do you think would happen if Vegas came storming back and got the win over the BIC? I, it would be the most... It would be the biggest upset in one single half that I've ever seen. It's, it would be the and biggest upset in been, A7 history. <laughs> and it might have been one of those slow plays because we're talking Vegas. Maybe they were going for a, a big sway in the second half over. <laughs> and two lined up next to Briscoe. The handoff to RTC. RTC, the power runner, driving downfield and getting some positive yards, three yards on the gain. 
And it will be second and seven. The clock stopping as Richardson went out of bounds and it's under two Guys, minutes. that might be the best offensive play so far for the force. That's what we're that's where we're at right now. But I mean, RT a lot more of those if guys are, are not whiffing blocks. The, like Siva just completely whiffs. Like just doesn't. There, even there get are there. five guys within three yards of the ball carrier on that play, and so when there's only seven guys on the field, that means that a, you're facing a defense that is committed to getting noses to the football, which is a great fundamental way to play on the defensive side of the ball. But you're also looking at that offensive line, which was able to open up some holes against Snow Tribe last week. They're barely even getting one hand on the defensive line for BIC so far in this first half. You guys have to complete the blocks. I'm, I'm telling you, this is a different game if their offensive line finally wakes up and starts putting hands on these people. With 124 left in the half, this is not the formation that you're going to score a touchdown with. Right. And reverse. The, oh, the reverse, oh but can't keep oh. it. Oh, oh ooh, solid, solid stop by the BIC defense, but... And as hard as these Vegas Force players are running, they're making the first man miss. But it's a it's a, a total team effort on defense, and it's not just one guy going to the ball. You see three guys coming downfield on this reverse. <laughs> Plenty of Force offensive linemen running back into the backfield on every play, chasing the man that was in front of them to start. And Master Chief with a interesting thing on his nose. I'm not sure what that is. Interesting haircut, too. Well, it's like a mullet. I know nothing of fashion these days if that's popular. Turn to the left, fashion. And it will be third and 18, timeout call by the BIC. 1986 is coming back in full force, guys. We got, <laughs> we got, a, we got a Cold War with Russia. We got an inflation. Gas prices are soaring. So the mullet also making its and return. And the Mets are good again. The Mets are good again. Wow, it is 1986. <laughs> I'm not even born yet. Oh. Third and 18, the snap. Right, Briscoe throws a burner. Oh, there downfield, is. Field, first there down of the oh, First down gets it downfield. This first. man cannot be stopped, but he will be deterred. A minute four left to go, and the force driving downfield. Biggest play of the afternoon. I love it. I like to see it. Show some spark. Show some life. Simple efficiency in the pass game. You get the ball out of the quarterback's hand and into an open receiver, and then Ooh. the force have been waiting all day to get in a little bit of open field, and when they do, they take advantage with a right. big play, biggest of the half, and a first down. And they'll hand it off to Richardson, Jeez. trying to keep that momentum going. He's met immediately. Burton is not here to play with anybody. Nope. He's he was much play. nicer with the baby bonnet. And the baby, uh, the, the hair bonnet. The hair you should have just, you should have just left that. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even want to remember that. Now that I remember that, I'm really upset. How, how it's no longer that? bonnet season. And it's not the running back's fault, it's guys. At home, it's the offensive line, line is absolutely wait, wait. getting dominated. And at their the point receiver of attack. literally doesn't move. <laughs> Number six does not move and falls. Oh, he moves nah, there. He, he, he fell. falls for nothing. He literally watches the play develop. Well, guys, you know in the A7FL how it sometimes can go. He made his catch and first down. His job is now complete. Timeout called by the force. One timeout remaining. At halftime, we'll go through the stats and the highlights of this one. 26 to nothing, BIC in lead. And we'll preview our 7 o'clock game between the East Orange Renegades and the Baltimore Gators. And we might even mention a recap That's of the 1 o'clock game. Oh, we're going to have to re – I think we just replay that last 30 seconds. Yeah, listen, that last 30 seconds, last 40. Last 40, yeah, that, that last 40, 40 seconds. Intense, yeah. I think out of all the stuff we've seen this year, that was the most hectic football we've seen. Other than the individual one play at the end of the half where the ball changed possession to the third time for the end, for the touchdown, yeah. BIC, that's as, that's as legitimately crazy as we've seen so far in 2022. Also, this offensive line hasn't handled the amount of volume that's coming at them. It's, it's, it's speed, yeah. it's power, it's tactician work. It's BIC. And, and the handoff to Richardson. Oh Richardson. He's trying his best. I can't even... I can't even fault him for yeah, Wil what he's trying to do. Wilkerson is trying he's to find trying, something. And, and he's, he's making something out of nothing. He's actually getting half a yard or two. He may have seven or eight broken tackles, Psycho which would be more than the yards that he's put up. And a player down on the field for the force. Unfortunate to see that. Hopefully yeah. he gets right back up. And Psycho living up to his name. And we see here on the tackle, ooh, and just a... 
and oh. and rightfully so an because he landing, gets an yeah. absolutely perfect tackle. It just it's just really not the best when it's over one of your off over one of the uh, opposing yeah. offensive linemen. He just yeah, he kind of just tackled him. Shout out to Carl making Correction. his appearance Wilkerson, in the white hat. Wilkerson, not Richardson. Oh, you misread my, misread my roster sheet. Carl Meisner looking fine as ever in his 413 hoodie. Go ahead, Boots. <laughs> he might get a return today. He might. That would be so amazing. If Did Carl you see Herschel? I saw Herschel. I saw Herschel. Let's go. Herschel's right there. Look at Mid second and nine. Mission for Herschel right now. Burning the last time out, and there you see the BIC sideline. Ready for that 7 o'clock. I think he's he, he's trying to get some of that BIC offense to rub off on him. The Renegades are looking to put a couple points, more points than than zero on the board today. Somebody said, um, Psycho's mustache is untrustable. It's not even a mustache. It's a nose guard. <laughs> I don't even know what it's that is. He's capping his nose. It's like he's going swimming. It's Cortana. It, I don't know. It's, it looks nuts. Everything about him looks nuts. He frightens me. Throw on the slant, but can't keep it up, and it will be third down. Then a problem for throwing plays, can't not keeping it up all day for the force. It'll bring up third and nine. Imagine being that young, that much talent, and can't keep it up. Pause. Well, we'll we'll let everyone have that season just with a little bit of silence as we see JJ, the Jamaican Rocket. Time out by BIC. Who can uh, he calls himself that? He calls That's himself a, the Jamaican Rocket. Yeah, because he doesn't want to be called Nightcrawler for whatever reason. <laughs> no association to the Tampa team, right? At this point, any, anything to remind us of Game One, because right. we're 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 really looking for the Force to live up to all the talk that they've given us coming into this game. They felt as confident as any team play, playing BIC this year that they could hang. It's and just what, what, what they're running into is a level of football that they got to go in at halftime and figure out how to deal with. The snap. Frisco throws. There it caught. is. Caught. And he, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> no. 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 Did Big Mook did not just catch the player that caught the ball. He didn't, they didn't do that. To That's be, not what we just to, saw. To clarify for those that are confused, that is not considered an interception, but there is a penalty on the play. Let's see. He, Let's see what the penalty is. Penalty is he caught. Looks like a reset, but I would love to see a replay of that play. He caught the player <laughs> that caught the ball. Yeah, but it was a dime caught by the receiver. <laughs> it's just that technically that just, just does not count as an interception, though. What if he started running back with him? That's not an interception. Well, it's forward progress. Stop. He, he never, his feet never touched the ground. I mean, he didn't have possession of the football. He had possession of the football player. That oh extra my God. word. That extra word at the he, end of that statement makes it so oh that it's a it's a it's a fourth goodness. and nine. He most importantly, for Rock Frisco, Ferrari is not one to be messed with. And he's, what can I say? Except <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Maui. This ain't it. I don't know if Maui is is doing that or if he's El Matador to go another Disney Plus reference. <laughs> That's deep into the shorts. Listen, man. Wow. He caught the player. That caught the ball. I tried to move on, but you're going to keep bringing it up. So if he spikes him in the end zone, <laughs> does he get extra points? That's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, is that as a quarterback, you make that face and that toss of the football after the play on fourth down going for it with 14 seconds left. It says all that you need to know about the first half so far for the Vegas Force. Luckily, as we've been talking about last week, they do have a coaching staff. They have the right minds in the building to try to figure this one out. And Coach Max got a lot of work to do, but we still have 14 seconds left. It'll be 14 seconds, 26 to nothing. The BIC in the lead. And an opportunity for the BIC to add more to the scoreboard. But we need to see respect from the game because what did we see from the Nightcrawlers? They took... They, they took advantage and, and disrespected the rare breed in, in a situation where they should have just played for smart football. Although BIC is not known to, to, to not put their foot on the gas, they got to respect the ball, and they can't give up a dumb play to get this force back in the game. Yeah, they, can't make a, they cannot make a mistake here. They cannot do anything, and there you see Derek Duncan, 
the owner of the Las Vegas division. Biggest Cavs of any division owner in the A7FL, Derek Duncan. Certainly. The Nevada division. I'm sorry, not the Nevada division, the Nevada division. Next year, they'll be rolling out in Reno. Oh, nice. And if you want to be a part of the future of football, you can go to A7FL.com slash owners. Codrington with the ball first and ten. Oh, boy. They're just so anxious to see if they can put points back on the board that. And it will be false start on the offense. It'll be first and 15 after the penalty. I'm Matt Ryan joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. And just to shout out Reese in the chat. I think you're, I think you're, no, nah, you're right. I was going to say you're maybe miss. You're oh, underestimating game, Bill Belichick because, let's game, be honest. You can have a great game plan, but if you're going up against a team that has everything going for them in the BIC, how do you stop a team like this? How, like, we've seen them play some of the elite franchises in this league, and they've only been stalled for maybe right, two or three drives. That's what I'm saying. And, and the snap. Codrington throws this one deep fly. down. Failed! Intercepted! Bring it back, young boy. Okay, let's go. On. This might be it. Oh, oh he's he your best this opportunity. Is it. And I'm oh, a he puts back the and flag. He, he knew the urgency in which this force team needed to score. Like I said, although it doesn't really end up hurting them, that mentality leads to a turnover. And in the second half, the force and their defense are going to look to force more of these. And let's see this again. Daffy. <laughs> And that will be the end of the first half. But the force getting a morale boost heading to the sideline at the end of this first half. The BIC with the lead. They will get the ball. Well, good, th good thing they have a three-on-one coming up where they have to throw it to Ashanti Worthy. And on the other side of this one, we'll break down the stats and the highlights. And we'll also preview our next contest at 7 o'clock. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. If you love pro football, we got a whole lot more action for you on the other side of this one. It's the A7FL Playoffs on Stadium. It's the A7FL playoffs, and much like catching your opponent while he's catching the ball, you want to catch the next wave of pro football, and this is it. If you want to own your own team in the A7FL, go to a7fl.com slash owners. If you're in Atlanta, New Orleans, North Carolina, hell, if you're on our own backyard in New York or in Delaware, we want you to be a part of the future of football. Go to a7fl.com slash owners. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. At the end of the first half, guys, the BIC playing their style of football and showing a very diverse offense. Well, and if you know BIC, what BIC stands for is Brother 
Brothers in Christ. And what we're seeing today is a baptism. Yeah. And welcome to the real A7FL Vegas Force because last week you did get a taste and you are the first team to come across country to win in New Jersey. Now we're in the Elite Eight. These are the top seven teams other than the Force in this league. And they're facing something that they said that they were ready for, that they called out. Careful what you wish for, Rob. I'm, I'm going to be honest, all that, all those dances, the touchdown celebrations, I think you asked for this wrath, and you're just not up for the fight. And the Vegas Force have some sparks, shockingly, that can help them stay in the game. But for whatever reason, they're not going to the guys that can help them win the game. The offensive line is playing piss poor right now. They can't block a soul, and that's probably the biggest fault right now for that, the Vegas Force. There's a, there's a lot of holes and inconsistencies. Uh, I'm looking like someone's high school teacher. Yes, I, I, have, I have big middle school history teacher energy. But when you take a look at this game, a lot of the things that went right for the, for the Force last week, going to RTC, going to opening up this offense, the, the BIC learned from that. They were there. They watched the film, stacking the box, keeping a lot of young, aggressive players on the field and just learning how to stifle and contain and just basically isolate and rope off sections and just continue to contain, contain, contain. And when they're on defense, they're sending five, six guys to the ball. And even though the Vegas Force is doing everything they can to make the first guy miss... If and when that first guy misses for BIC, there's two, three, four guys there, and there's just nowhere to go on the ground. So what we're going to have to see is a little bit of, of, of invention at halftime, which is not where you want to be in the, no, the Elite not, Eight no. in the A7FL playoffs no. is redefining who you are as an offense. But right now, based on the, the definition of what the Vegas Force are, it's, it's, it's insufficient right now very on offense as we probably will go very soon to the these the stats which were a little bit padded uh, yeah, by that that those couple I, of I last plays don't want to look at the stats yet but the defense the defense isn't bad because once again you're, you're you've held BIC up to 26 points right now 26 to 0 the offense is not producing but 26 points for a half of BIC is not that high. If and, the one on, match. and the one-on-one -on -one matchups that we've seen, and, 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 and shout out to uh, number four, uh, Cariel Davis, who, who was, we've seen is one of the only human beings on earth that has covered Ashanti Worthy right, at, right. in a moment this right. year, made an open field tackle on Ashanti Worthy. So when you have the guy right there we that against, not shut down because he all, uh, we, we said he's, he's anxious to score and he scored on the next play. So he's not shut down. One touchdown for Ashanti in a half yeah. is kind of shut down. One. For maybe what we expected coming into this game? Yeah. Maybe. Is, and that's impressive coverage from, from a kid. Yeah, and when you, when you put it, you, you know, it's, it's, it's like that, the movie Troy. When you send your best fighter out and you, you match him with a fighter, it, right. it, it levels the playing Not field for the rest of the war. Yeah. But when these two teams are head-to-head, -head, it's been real bloody. Real bloody. And we'll, we'll have to take a look at, on the other side of this, we'll take a look at the highlights and the stats when we return. When we return here at the A7FL playoffs, we've got a whole lot more action for you. We'll break this one down. 26 to nothing, the Vegas force down but not out. we got a whole lot of football left. It's the A7FL playoffs. Winner go home on Stadium.
It is halftime here in Abyssinia Stadium, 26 to nothing. Your score to the A7FL playoffs. And joining us here at halftime, someone who joined us on Twitter Spaces on cover. Friday night. I was going to use the cover. It's Courage Mosey joining us here in the booth. Courage, how you feeling? How you feeling after that first half? Shit was a waste of time. I told him, nah, I told him respectfully. Third quarter come, it's just that face that they're going to have, like, yo. Well, fr Friday we had a, on this side. <laughs> Friday we had a, we had a, a conversation. We allowed you to have a straight up conversation with Pack Money, Curtis Curtis Jones, uh, the coach of the Force, and and you said it. You were coming and you were bringing expletives, and, and you brought them to the booth. You brought them to the field. What out there are you seeing? Because what I see is is you're having so much fun that you're even seeking the contact, which which I know means that you're fully in the game and, and ready to, to snatch some souls out there. What do you guys have planned for us in the second half? To run it up. Honestly, 80 is really the goal. We're trying to, we're trying to push that 80. Just, just to make a statement. Like, we're not playing no games. Yep. Come and seek it and we're destroying it. So when you when you want to take a look when you took a look at the rare breed and Tampa game and you saw how that one sussed out and you take a look at the rest of the competition in the remainder of this playoffs you see Vegas is a young team they have a lot of, they have a lot of young talent they have a lot of raw talent but you're seeing how this game is evolving you're seeing how this game matures level after level after level and you've been in this league for a long time you're a former MVP you've won a championship. As you see this from the other side of things, as you see this on a team with a young quarterback, a young wide receiver in Codrington and Worthy, what's the differences between 2016, and not only for the A7FL, but for you as an athlete, but in tw and in 2022? Uh, uh, it's a lot of similarities, I'll tell you. I just know this team, we just got dogs everywhere. Like, really everywhere. We're to the point. I said it early on on Facebook, like I really didn't have to break a sweat this year. Honestly, You're not sweating right now. Not at all. I don't feel like I have, I don't have to work hard. 2016, I'd say I had to work a little harder. Mm. This I mean, year, you, you carried the team on your back, Courage. <laughs> come on. But Courage, I'd like to try to be humble. Yeah. <laughs> but heading into this one, you you see on the other side, it's a seven o'clock game. You have the Gators going up against the the Renegades. What for you is the most compelling matchup coming out of that game? If you are, you guys are walking out of here. You're in the lead now. If you hold on to the lead, walking out of this one, what what team do you think is the most compelling matchup for you in two years? I have a feeling we're gonna be playing the games again. We're gonna do the same thing we did to them first. I'm telling you, our goal is that when that third quarter comes, it's just that little sad look like, oh, there's nothing we can do. I you like I, that that look of defeat. I love that. Like. It gets me. It gets me so hyped. It's just like, and once you taste it, you want to get it again, oh, right? Hell. Absolutely, absolutely. But Curtis, Good job. Thank, Good thank you so much, bro. We appreciate you coming up here. <laughs> thank you, Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half of this one. Curtis Mosey having to run guy. back into the field. They're going to definitely include that guy. Let's take a look at these highlights now. Defense leading the way here for the for this team. And Corey, just a long day at the office. Well, for the and Vegas as, as a offense. quarterback, I've been in the position that Rock Briscoe's in. When you when you don't get enough blocking to do anything, and you have less than two seconds to make a decision, it's a really tough ask. And Rock Briscoe's doing all that he can, but as you see in the highlights here, it's not enough so far in the first half. And certainly, and we got Big Rob back in here with us. And Sterry Codrington, in, in, from from drive one, has been so relaxed. It's almost as if this is more of a clinic than an actual playoff game because he's been able to do whatever he's wanted. And you see just this team. I, it's really hard to look past how talented this BIC offense is. And when Would your quarterback you say, can, can execute a run play like that and he's able to also throw the ball downfield to wide open receivers, it really makes it tough for even a very good defense, which the force have proven so far that this year that they are, to stop any of the plays as we see Courage's introduction to the Force's defense right here. And just some really high-level offense. And this is a team that's in sync. And we've talked Very about the concept of coaches versus captains. And as this league evolves, I think coaches are going to definitely take a foothold in this league. And we've seen it in out west, and we've seen it in Florida with an evolution in this league. But when you have players who know how to work with each other and you have that syncope, 
and you have people like Sterry Codrington who know what they're doing in the huddle, you see as this game evolves, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to go against what's working right now for this offense. I think the newer divisions definitely will need coaching to teach them this game, to evolve this game, and to evolve the offense and defense of this league. But right now, we're seeing why the BIC are, in, uh, in my opinion, unquestionably the best team in the A7FL. Well, and, this, and an A7FL season is a trial by fire. And what we saw in 2021 is that BIC, with a lot of young players, their, their quarterback being his first year learning this game, there was a lot that they learned last year. There was a lot of, of tempering of their fire to be right. where they're at this year. They did right. not win all of the games this year solely on this year alone. The failures last year against the U, even Very though they true. were close, have have brought the mo the motivation to get better, which right. all of them have to, to a man. Every one of these young guys has improved. And then you bring in rookies onto the defense like Verardi and, and Psycho, and you know, Master Chief. And, and when you have that level of experience mixed with exuberance the the double x's mm -hmm. you got the right formula for an a7fl championship so far let's take a look at these stats and wow it is a long day at the office wow. for the vegas force minus eight rushing 22 pass yards only 21 pass yards for the bis well and 22 of those pass yards came on, on that last drive james samuel number six caught that pass and let's talk about the rushing yards. 163 rushing yards, a big day for the BIC. But as we head to break, it'll Sterry be the start Codrington of the... Codrington on cruise control. That's what those stats say to yeah. me. And it'll be the start at the start of the second half. The BIC will get the ball. And when we return, the BIC will get the ball and try to make something happen and increase this lead and punch their ticket to the final four and try to make it to their second straight A7FL championship. We'll be back on the other side of this one. It's the A7FL playoffs on Stadium. back here on stadium the a7fl playoffs continuing the elite eight the bic will get the ball to start this one up i'm matt ryan joined by Corey hammond and big rob fabian and guys long way to tipperary but it'll be the start of the third quarter here the bic with the ball well one of the one of the most delightful things in the a7fl as we see the entire BIC sideline dancing to the intro music. I have no idea how they can hear it from there. But on the three on one to start the second half, we are getting the absolute pleasure of seeing Ashanti Worthy with a chance at the three on one return. Get your popcorn. 
And D and here comes Ashante Worthy. Ashante He's been Worthy all is week for hus, this guy. Hus, 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 hus. Carving him up like hus, a hus. Thanksgiving bye, turkey. And bye. that is why Ashante Worthy bye, is the MVP. Bye. Look at you, buddy. Say goodbye to Hollywood. Bye, bye. Touchdown, BIC. And there's a flat. Look at the flip. Yo, Trey Yes, entire, no, entire team not. comes out to tell the force, what? hey. What? Remember week one? What? 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 what is happening? <laughs> this is madness. What is happening is what absolutely should happen in the A7FL. Wow. The force called, the force called the BIC out on their first touchdown <laughs> against Snow Tribe last wow. week, if you missed it. And they did the BIC. I think it's stupid, honestly. No offense to BIC. <laughs> but yeah. they did the BIC <laughs> trademark, get on your elbows yes, and kick guess your what's feet. Next. Hold on. Next. The flag is absolutely unsportsmanlike conduct because you cannot now, clear the sideline. Now, is it assigned line. to one person? Is it 15 yards oh, per player? And guess what? It still wouldn't make it. Coach Mac for the Vegas Force is angling right now for every single one of the players that have come off the sideline to be a 15-yard penalty used different times in the game. But you ask for it's this not one. real, though. Yeah. When you call teams out and do their, their signature moves, but let's even let, this stuff let's even break do down that. before we saw that amazing troll from BIC was an even more amazing return. And Ashanti. Ashanti, we know that he's that type of player. What the Vegas Force thought they could pr produce on their three-on-ones was Pac-Man Pac Craig Jones right, right. doing a similar thing. I, that, the, that, th that's the difference in this game is you see the level of the top level playmakers for both teams. Ashanti Worthy just embarrassed three guys from the force that were trying to bring him down. And every single time Pac-Man has been trying to do those juke moves, he's been going backwards that, against the athletes on the three. That broke me as a person. That broke me. That absolutely delighted me. What did that I tell you at weird. home? I that was delightful. I, 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 I squeed. I squeed like, I, like I a nine-year-old child who... The penalty will be assessed on the throw-offs, which means they'll have to... And it does only count as one, by the way, for those Vegas fans at home. The throw-off will be taking place in Philadelphia. <laughs> Going for the one-point conversion here. I've never Rock. seen a Shante Worthy truck somebody till today. This is the first time I've seen him run through something. I've seen him run with somebody attached to his jersey and do a spin move, so... Codrington under center, one-point conversion attempt. Still basically halftime. Yeah, there's an untimed down. The second half has not officially started, and they will get the point in there. And uh, terrible uh, layup attempt, but that <laughs> that Kaysan. for the force. Kason. That for the force is how you complete a slam pass, and we'll we'll take that lesson and we'll convert it to now Vegas's opportunity with their chance at yeah. an exciting three on one. So they will stay. They will start the second half in earnest with the ball. Zo so suited up, force. number twenty for BIC. Normally he has Tim's on. When he's got the cleats on, you know something about to happen. White suit Yakuza theory. And it will be the force getting the ball here. 33 to nil your score. After what could be considered the most ridiculous celebration in the history of the American Sevens football. League. I want to be clear. If I'm on the other team and I see that celebration with that much... Never the whole before, roster? I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm hurt. Never before I'm hurt. in a football game have I seen a social media response live in yeah. person in right. between the lines because that's what that was. That hurts to watch. That, that, was, that is a TikTok. That's like a boomerang, right? They're right. going to be boink, 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 going back and forth. That just shows that how much was, I know about it. That was ether. They just they ethered did. another football they did. team. They did. <laughs> There's no souls that's left on the Vegas Force sideline. That celebration hurts. Like All the morale on that side has to be like gone. That was harsh, but it was warranted, and they deserved it. They earned that. They asked for it. Yes. They begged for that opportunity. To, and the the Samuel Jackson uh, quote: "They deserve to too die." Too many snakes on his plane. And this one will be thrown up, and the three on one. This will bounce at the thirty-five, inside the thirty-five. I guess it didn't make it. Did not make it. The flag, and let's oh, hear what the crap. official has to say. It'll be a runoff here from the 40 the forty yard line. So an opportunity here. I think this is a great opportunity for them to get some crucial, well needed yardage to put them in a position. Now Rashad Wilson. Ooh. Oh. And getting to the other side of the 35. Hey. The 
Jamaican Rocket. They're in scoring range, guys. Right. As close as they've been all day. And it will be first and ten for the force who have to come out after Ashanti Worthy. Oh, my God. And let's, see, let's just take a watch. Hus, just, hus, 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 and just finding hus, the right rhythm. Hus. Oh. And then the, this, wasn't a, this wasn't a hus here. He goes, hus, smash. Excuse me, little man. Oh, goodness. He, he cut up and under and right, then that's, just. That's absurd. And bye then bye. says bye. Yeah. Bye bye. But let's not get it lost. In that celebration, we saw Umar Lewis do the highest backflip. Are you sure that was Umar? I thought that was Trey Cohen. No, that was Trey Cohen. Trey, was Trey Cohen, Cohen was in the Trey. sky. Trey Cohen doing his Cirque du Soleil audition. 1421 left to go. 40 seconds gone okay. by. Hand oh off to RTC. Goodness. RTC staying upright, though. Wilkerson trying to stay upright in that Block one. Variety. I, I think we should bring a shirt that says Block Variety. <laughs> so maybe people can understand that that's the key. He should block wear he, 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 he pre game he wears a shirt that says "Block me." Block me. Uh, opposition. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, like block. Block me. me. And that is a Wilkerson minus nine rushing yards on the afternoon. Has eleven broken tackles, <laughs> minus nine yards. Do you adjust that for inflation? <sighs> well, we've we've been talking about gas prices. Yeah. I mean, you got to adjust something. And right now, you see Pac-Man Jones. You see Corey Jones on the top of your screen. Not been a great day for this force offense. This force defense been able to keep it, keep the game a little bit in rhythm, but that Ashante Worthy pass in the throw. There it is. There is. Come on. Come Take on. Let's go. Let's go. Come Jones on. Responding. Come on, Pac-Man. Curtis Jones. Come touchdown. on, Pac-Man. And it's really not Come on, the time to say shush. Yeah, it's not the time to say shush. But, but life. that's a great touchdown, Pac-Man. Don't go out here on a donut. There's life in this team. There's yeah. certain things they, they have, can do. They have Come so on. much They life. have something. And that was a great thrown ball, great. too. It's and that's, JJ's fault. It is JJ's fault. And that's <laughs> and that's the same pressure that we've seen all game. Right. But Brock, Rock Briscoe knows at this point he's just got to the let hit that thing go. and get the ball out there. Yeah. And Vegas, six on the board. That, and he threw a great ball. I didn't think he had that in him. Absolute done. I didn't think he had that in him. That was impressive. And they will go for one here. And you see, they've already made the adjustment now. They're, they're going away from their, their big, huge, you know, pack it in the middle because that obviously hasn't worked in the first half, so they're going to have to find ways. And credit Coach Mack here, finding a way to get in the end zone, first drive of the game. And the throw to Jones oh and no flag goodness. on that one, but. JJ with the impact. Well, inside he, he five got, yards. He got him for six. He wasn't going to get him for fact, one. Yeah, he said, no, not again. This will not be my fault. That's what he's saying right Look, now. Like, it will not fuck that. It won't be my fault. L LJ calling me Nightcrawler. He's still upset <laughs> about that. <laughs> he called me Nightcrawler. <laughs> and at the, with 13, 17 left to go, your my score, goodness. 33 Man, to bet six. It, I better not hear them say it's JJ the fault. The force looking to respond. They did by putting some points on the board. Now it's on the BIC to make something happen. Trey Cohen oh, will return yeah. the ball. Oh, yeah. Well, we return. Will he be able to put six up? Let's we'll see go, on the Trey. other side. And we are back live after the Vegas Force putting some putting some points on the board. It'll be on Trey Cohen to respond on the three-on-one throw-off. Cohen will catch this at the 24. And Cohen looking to give a little of that hus hus. Oh, oh. Wait, here we go. Hus hus. It's the flippers. Oh, Ooh, my Trey Cohen. Goodness. Mean mugging. Oh. Respect from the two flippers there. The two flippers. See, if this was a flip-off, this might be a different game. 
I don't know. I, Trey got it. Got some air on that foot. He got air, no, but, but does he know how to do the back handspring? And we'll see here again on the replay. Get the hush. Hush, hush. Excuse me. All three of them collided. Just the ability to change hands. Watch the change hands. Big stiffy. When, you're, wi boy. when your pants have one and a half legs and you're <laughs> able to do that, that's impressive. It makes you very dangerous because my pants have never had one and a half legs. I had one and three quarter legs once. Made rain, it made rainy days really uncomfortable. <laughs> but it'll be first and ten for the BIC offense. And the force, not, no turnovers as of yet. A big play. That, yeah. Impressive stats. Well, we've seen in, in game one, and there's not a lot in common between the two games, but we saw in game one when the Nightcrawlers got up, they didn't respect the game. Gave the rare breed an opportunity. If BIC isn't able to execute their offense, they could give the force an opportunity. The snap in wow. Codrington. He's going to make his way downtown, and he'll get the first down in a gain of about 15. He threw a grown man on the floor. And you're looking at the he offensive line. I'm looking at the, the elite level climb in the pocket because the pressure was coming to the outside. Codrington steps up, finds a seam, and just explodes for an easy 12 yards. And it will be first and 10, the snap. Codrington throws this one down, field and out of the hands of Worthy, and it will be second down. Who was guarding Worthy? Number four again? I believe it was number three on the guard. We just missed him. Ball was coming with some heat. Sterry can get that ball out there. It's yeah. a big mistake to have number three covering him. Yeah. You got to go with what works. And it will be second and ten. I, I personally think at this point, Codrington should sit. You, th you think they should take Sterry out of the game? Yes. I mean, um, save him for the bigger game. Save, just save him. I don't know if we're there the yet. Throw Ooh. tipped, almost intercepted. And look at Jalen. Jalen Cruz. Wow. Okay. Jalen is always good for some random spark of greatness anytime he plays. Always look for Jalen to do one or two things that you just don't expect him to do. And that's one of the most unselfish wide receivers in the oh, NFL because guess what? He's got a lot in yeah. front of him. That, and a lot of talent in front of him. He's still out there, and he's a very reliable target. And the force will challenge the ruling on the field. Interesting to call for that challenge. Well, third and two is, is a huge difference from third and ten. Mm. And as you saw right there, that, that play from BIC could have been six on the board for the force again. You know, their cor been. the corner breaks on the ball, gets his hands on it, catches it. There's no one between him and the end zone. It's going to be a tough catch. That's if possible. Catch. I think that's a catch. It's a catch and from, it, I think it's a catch from Jalen. Yeah, the foot Ooh, drags, yeah, the foot catch. drags. Yeah, that's they, definitely a catch, the foot drags. The but what I'm saying is, is that for the force, uh, Antoine Rainey, baby head honcho, which there's a lot of baby stuff going on today for the force. But he, if he catches that, he's bringing it to the house. True. Yeah. But it looks like that I'm, will be if called I'm a BIC, catch. I'm, I'm benching Ashanti. I'm and it's benching. been officially called a catch, so the force will burn a timeout here. And you see Coach Mack walking back to the sideline, not particularly happy with the call. Well, next week you do have, if BIC is able to hold on to this lead, you do have a matchup between either the Gators or the Renegades, and you're going to have to be healthy to face those two defenses, which have put and, and pressure on I all of the teams think. that they've played. But I think I think with 11:30, the last thing we're you want to do is saying, give the force. Yeah, we're not saying hope. give them hope or give up on the game. But Codrington and Ashanti could sit for a quarter, even if the force scores three touchdowns right now. Once Codrington and Ashanti come back fresh, we're talking a different game again. And it looks like the feet call. And the calling on the field will be confirmed. It if will B be a third and two after the game by the throw to Crooms from Codrington. If BIC gets to 50, then the game's really out of reach, and then we should see yeah. uh, some uh, trickeration behind the back stuff, which, which will also be delightful. Do you think that if they do take out Codrington, who do they put in? Third and two. Um, in trouble. Caught! There's Trey. And Here there's Trey Cohen. Cohen following the lead blocker. Krooms cuts through. Touchdown! And Trey Cohen! He has very deceptive speed. People don't know how fast that kid is. And the rear front flip. We've seen a lot of back flipping the past two weeks. That's a front flip. And let's give Cohen credit because he's the type of player you want on your team. Always. As as My great as he was Cohen. on that, as great as he was on that touchdown, and it, great route, wide open, 
catches the ball, which some of the guys in this league sometimes still struggle with, gets it in the end zone with extreme speed. He's How does he do that in full momentum? He's I don't technically know. a backup, guys, for this team. And he's that a, level, but he's a starting receiver anywhere else. Yeah. And he's a star. Right. And, he's, and he's willing to take that backseat role to some other stars. And what they ask him to do, guys, is what you ask your glue guys to do. Would right. you say he's wide receiver two or three on this offense? Ooh, like four. Really? Well, I mean, we're also uh, not – we're uh, missing Jason ooh. Sizon. Yeah, Cizan we don't have Sizon. So and as, one, as, Cizan as, much as, as much maligned as at times Kaysan Campbell is, he's, three. He's, he's probably the best route runner in the league actively right now if you, mm. don't, if you, if you discount some of the guys and, who are a little bit past their and prime. And imagine if this league no offense, hit a reset and you saw and Trey Cohen on the U or you saw Trey Cohen catching balls from Corey Hammond. It would be an interesting conversation. Me. Play action. Corey would love that. The throw swatted out of the hands, and this one will remain 39 to six. With 11-19, that one was intended for Burton. So, with 39 to six and a lot of football left, the Vegas Force will be forced to be respond, and we'll see here the play. Nice pressure. Yes, yeah, some great pressure, but just leaving too much open field for Trey Cohen. Well, and in the just, back end, how many even defensive players are there? Because it looks like there's two, and there's three guys in the route. Yeah. That's an, I don't know math, guys, but I don't think that that works out. In public school. Uh, I went to Catholic school. Oh, it's even worse. Half. Uh, <laughs> third and two. Well, pardon me. Thirty-nine to six, and it will be a three-on-one here. And Jermaine Simmons saying the BIC is too stealthy. There is a lot of stealthy speed on this team. Well, when you're going to your fourth and fifth and sixth wide receivers, and your sixth wide receiver makes the catch that Jalen Crooms made. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, that means that, that, that depth is serious. Embarrassment of riches is hard to say in this this economy that we're talking right now. But if you've ever seen an embarrassment of riches in a, riches in a football game, it's absolutely BIC at the wide receiver position. And this ball will be thrown deep, and this one will bounce inside the 10. It will be a returnable ball and cutting some impressive speed there and not Stays able up. to stay all the way Trey upright Cohen, yeah. but that we'll man get again. Trey, Trey every down Cohen Trey every down Cohen now, this guy plays like it's his last game in football ever every time he's on the field so you have coaches that would have that wish they had a full team of guys like Trey Cohen uh, if we, I wouldn't mind a couple of big guys to block but mm. he'd block for you too <laughs> Psycho has to get rid of that nose patch or whatever that thing is. Like it's he looks, bro, bro. He looks like Hitler from here. Like this is not. It's bad. It's it's an interesting choice. Uh, it's first and ten. He can't wear the helmet, the Master Chief helmet. Guys. No, so, it, it, I just. Bro. Does he have allergies? It is allergy season. It is allergy season. Maybe it's a. No what is that? We're we're trying to uh, assess a level of normalcy to. My what guy, Campbell. He's got psycho on the back of his jersey. Uh, I guess he, he's and he's wearing a mullet. Yeah, yeah there, there's a, a, there's a lot mullet. of choices there. A lot of wrong choices. In motion, Jones, double uh, reverse, handoff to Wilkerson. Kind of got Lakuma caught off the stumbling box, but sign of respect there. there from psycho. They've gone to that play now for the sixth time that I remember because that's the play that they scored first on, against Snow Tribe, which is that jet action, you know, kind of scissor counter with RTC and and you see that there's a tiny little bit of an opening there but when you have a great open field tackler on each side of you as a ball carrier you're just not going to get the yardage that you need I to make that they, play effective I think they need to go back to Pac-Man some more like Pac Pac's not being used or utilized the way I feel when like you can't be. run the ball and get more than two yards in a time the the math actually tells you you might as well throw two incompletions and try for that one for 10 yards because even though Rock Briscoe has zero time. Play they scored on was. He didn't have time either. Snap, Briscoe we off go. the go screen, and there's Pack. Pack go will to, get oh. a solid gain, won't get the first down, but it will be third and short, third and about four. Got to go to Pack, man. And Pack is that guy that in, in the West Coast, in his division, when he catches that ball, he's looking to score. He's dangerous. Now he's barely looking to get four yards because as he's looking to score, he's got the ball in his hand. He has all the swagger and confidence that you see in the A7FL week in and week out. But he doesn't have that next level of explosion. And what you're seeing is on the defensive side of the ball here, he goes, look, there's some open lanes here. Shotty right. Worthy might get, you know, 15, 16 yards. 
That's the difference I've seen in, in today's game, guys, is I mean, that the against, top level of playmaker for the force is just not at the same level as BIC. this defense, though, the BIC's defense is a little faster than other defenses that we've seen. So how, how can Ashante Worthy actually keep up? That's a mismatch. Um, Briscoe immediately met with some derision. The ball comes loose, but the ball is the place whistled dead, and it'll be fourth down. And on third and three, you go with the quarterback off the right side, and if you can't block the, that that right edge of the defense, it's going to be a loss. Yeah, he's looking. Every time, he fourth looks, and six. every time he calls hike, he looks his linemen are going back two, four yards with white jerseys all in his face. I, I couldn't run it either. Not, not a fun time for the force, but it'll be fourth and five. They will go for it. That is their offensive philosophy. They are a four-down offense. You see Pac-Man Jones, he's got he's got some space. I still think that is the most ridiculous thing in the world. That is a, an interesting thought, but Casey Fennessey. Is that Casey Fennessey. again with his third swat? A third oh, swatted SWAT ball. Swat Casey. And that's been five sacks for the BIC wow. defense today. A third swatted ball for KC Fantasy. We keep talking about how great this BIC offense is. That defense is nothing. To, listen, I think it's the best amazing. defense in the league. I, I, I like far and away in I, I conversation. Think so. I think so. Is this one of the most complete franchises in the history of the A7FL? Yes. So far, what we've seen from them this year yes. is that they have the pass game. They have the ability to run the ball. Their quarterback has run for over 200 yards in games, has Kick. thrown for over 400 yards in Kick games. Returns and on defense, they have four or five guys that can rush the passer and seem at times unblockable. And their so special what, teams is there too. That completes them as a team. Now, are we going to talk about an all-time team with, without the championship to show for it? Yes. Not yet because they, uh, they still have to beat the U for the third time. For the I think, third? You hear what you're saying? For the third but, time. But or, the rare breed, though. Like, we got to talk about that they game rare in two weeks. Tough. They're tough. We just saw the their rare resolve. Breed, the rare breed need to look at their film and correct what, what Mark Bagway oh did to him. Because if, if Mark Bagway could. Chris Hunter. In the throw. Hunter, and there's a flag on the play. This one might be brought back. Potential holding call. We'll go to the official. I mean, all time, I'm, I'm guessing if chips matter, then you, you can't call them the greatest, one of the greatest yet until they get theirs. But all time with the eye test from what I remember. No flag on the play. Waves the flag off. Yeah, from what I remember, this is one of the most complete teams I've ever seen. Yeah. On NA7 history. Because we've this teams that didn't have the special teams. Then this teams that lacked a little bit on defense. Or lacked a little bit on offense. They look complete. I, I this it's very hard to find flaws in BIC at this point. Trying to play advocate here, right? So there's there's SWG teams if we're going way, way back. There's Bombers teams if we're going way, way back. Even yeah. even at times, the U has looked this dominant. The Immortals on their run. This but what I see dominant? from that, – that's what I was about to say. From, from what I see from this BIC team, basically the question is, is how do you stop this team? Which is a which is an absolutely fantastic question, and I don't know if anybody yeah, has is. the answer so far this yeah, year. And there is no answer, and that's why – even though people probably don't want to hear it, but this BIC team is and literally that, probably one of the best. And up the big mook, and he is stuffed. Yeah, this is probably one of the best A7 teams to touch a field. And I've been on several of the best A7 teams. You just come, you just retired on what on I thought the at best. the time yeah, was the, the best, best team in A7 yeah. NFL history. Because at the time, it, it was. That U team from last year was the best team in the league. But again, you know, things change. Well, in this year, there has been a little bit of a changing of the guard as we've seen BIC right. come head-to-head -head with the U and earn it twice. But those were in – that was a regular season game and a and divisional a game, right. which money was on the line, so it's not nothing. Yeah, it was but a championship. Game. with the championship on the line, these, te these two teams, the U and, and BIC, might face each other again. And yeah. that's what's going to determine all time where this BIC team stands. Snap. Big oh opportunity my for goodness! Staring oh Contrington my goodness! Is not human. That, Verardi and Stansberry just mowed a grown man. That off was an the assault. Line. That oh. was an assault. If that if that call happened the cops. outside, if that's happened call outside the of the stadium. Oh my! Call the cops. Something something happened. There was a crime. A crime was committed. That was call the cops. That young man has to go home. When we go back to the when we go back <laughs> to the replay, this poor man is going to be shouted out on live television. Cram. Are you kidding? Cram. 
He just got hit with a tag team move in real life. Look, look, they're running him down full speed. Oh, my God, the whiplash. Uh, and what's tough is, is that when you have a design quarterback run like that, Sterry drops back almost as a, bye -bye. As a, a pass play which forces the defense to react to the pass. Yeah, Offensive line runs straight down the field, head of steam, and what happens is when you're backpedaling on defense, you get double teamed, you're ending up on oh, your back. Oh, Lord. That's, that's tough. That, that was rough. You know how heavy Kenny Stansberry is? And he landed right <laughs> he on He landed top right on that man. That's a heavy guy. Yeah. So me and Rob, if we did the fusion dance. Yeah. Three wide receivers yeah. sat. Have a huge beard. Mm. Be fanciful though. One point conversion attempt. Flag on the play. I have the earrings if you want. Mm. I don't know if I'd look good with an earring. Oh, the Pitaro ones. Oh, yeah. Shoes like that. <laughs> Illegal substitution. Too many men on the offense. Illegal substitution Five call. Replay the track for one. And it will be a re attempt here. And for the for the force right now, there's opportunities to come back. There's 20, 37 left of football left to it's play. Still some time, Coming yeah. off some untimed downs. Well, we all know that it's going to be tough sledding, but you know when you're in a position like this, 45 to six, potentially 46 to six, you got to take it one play at a time. And what the force have been able to do is when they are successful, they're they're beating BIC to the punch. Just a real tough sledding as they get wow. the five yards back. Someone's going to have to explain to me why everyone jumps off sides against Terry Codgerton. Especially when you can only call set go. Yeah, I don't get it. I just don't get it. At the top of your screen, you see Hollywood. Shanti right Worthy is also. Full start. Offense. Number 52. Five-yard penalty. I'm pretty sure they're going to call that on the offense because the offense isn't allowed to draw the defense off sides right. with no snap. They call them number 52, big team. So this will be the rare one-point attempt from the 15, guys. And at first, the uh, one-point attempt, that is now from the 15-yard line. An opportunity here. So and Cohen's got a mean mug on now. Watch him on the scene. He, he's always angry. He's wide open. And, oh, to Ashanti, Ashanti Worthy. Quarterback. Trickeration in this dancery. And the swan will not land. Now with 45 to 6 and a whole bunch of time left, the Vegas Force will have a chance to respond on the other side of this break. Will Pac-Man Jones find his way to pay dirt? Or will the ghosts catch him? It's the force, down 45 to six. A whole bunch of football left. It's the EA7 NFL playoffs on stadium. Stay right there. We are live here on Stadium. It is the A7FL Playoffs here on Stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian. And we want to thank these sponsors, Mickey's Miracles, SOS Generation, Excel Medical Staffing, and Business Strategy, NLS Business Strategies, for supporting A7FL Nevada all season long. Thank you for your continued support in helping the force get on out here and play in the big Elite Eight showdown. Thank you once again to these sponsors for being a part of A7FL Nevada and a part of the A7FL family. Three on one time and an opportunity for a new member of the Vegas Force to try to light the lamp in the three on one. It'll be Steffi Codrington throwing the ball. This one thrown deep downfield. 
And this one will bounce, and it will be a live ball. Caught by the returner. Pushing through, trying to get through. Cohen and Codrington. And that is a return by James Samuel Jr. And he gets... Uh, Gets, his, gets a backyotomy from the return, the, the defending team from the BIC. Yeah, that's my guy who had the catch and then on the next play was was missing on the block, right? So he's like, yeah, I got this return, watch me. And he goes with the, he goes with the, uh, the forceful, not to use a pun for their name, the forceful type return where you're going to go look for contact and it finds out that Quan. Oh. Unnecessary, Unnecessary roughness on Trey Cohen. He seems like such a delightful man, he's, though. He's yeah, but when he's mean mugging, he has no he's kinda, off switch. He's kind of evil, man. He's an evil looking guy. And it will be a you know, after the call of the unnecessary roughness on the return on the throwing team. It'll be 45 to 6, 537 left to go in the third. And uh, Matt Ryan drawn by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. The clock will continue to tick down, and Briscoe uh, will make his way to the line. If anybody's followed my career, they know that I've been in the same position that Rock Briscoe is in right now. It seems like there's nothing you can do. Don't laugh, because it's, it's a, more of a tragedy than a comedy oh, at this point, man. my friend. But, you know, what you're here to do is just, you know, turn it around, have some fun, and just get back on track one play at a time. And there's that screen cutting up field. Big chance for the force. And Ball, the, the ball's with, the play's whistled dead. I'm hoping the play's whistled dead because his own lineman hit the ball. Well, out. Grizz, Joshua Wallace with the best defensive play of the day for the force, just unfortunately on his own and, player. And one player missing from the BIC defense today, uh, Corey Price. We have not seen CP3 in action today. We'll, we'll see him probably if the BIC walk out of here with the win in two weeks in the Final Four. That's a great Back tackle. at Abyssinio Stadium. Shout out to Joshua Wallace with that tackle. Briscoe will make his way back to the line. It'll be but you see that those, those quick throws from, from the force, getting the ball out of Briscoe's hands into the playmakers, you know, with open field. Those are a little bit of a chance. Those are adjustments that should have been made in and the first And another quarter. screen and just trying to pull through and... That's that's a flag on the play, and we'll see what the flag is. But that is a head coach call if I've ever seen one. That was back to back calling the exact same play back to back. That was me. Mm. Let's see what the flag is. I mean, quick. Personal foul. Tell you to wrap on the tackle. Defense. Fifteen yard penalty in the BIC given force. A huge chunk of yards there and giving them another first down. Hey, that's all you got to do. Is you you got to complete passes, right? Once you yeah. complete passes, everything starts to work on offense. I, I really want them to go, because this works against BIC every time, With since they did the two quick screens back-to-back, -back, you got to go somewhere else on the next play, right? And then you go with the quick screen and go. And it'll work. I guarantee that somebody will be open. It's just if you can complete it. And 4-16 left to go in the third. An opportunity for Briscoe and this force offense to get another six on the board. In motion is Wilkerson, the snap. Salty with the pressure. Throw to Mook intended to the big one. man. Mook was going to get another one. Big Mook trying to get another interception. We saw that Instagram video a couple weeks ago. And they go to Siva. Remember Siva destroying La? Yeah. Yes. Remember that, right? Yep. Siva, Siva destroyed La and then got tossed by Verardi today. Yeah. Make sure, we, we should probably make sure that goes up. Oh, uh, that should probably exist yeah. on social media. Uh, 335 left to go. The clock will continue to count down here. Verardi's like packing some kind of hidden power if he's doing I, that because he's, he's strong. I to think be he's able to do that, made that's a concrete. A, he might be. That, that's, that's a bench guard. press, a clearly 315 easy, just like, you know, off a back foot he type of thing. Threw him. He may not be Majin, he may not be Kid, but he is some sort of boo. Some I don't know which. Don't some know. type might of boo. Be kid. Might be Cell. Oof. Not that thick as boo. Oh, waiting okay. for Hercule okay. to show up and save the day. Okay. The handoff to oh. Wilkerson. Wilkerson breaking inside, finds a lane, and will move down field, and it'll be third down after a gain of about four. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z and Saiyans, we got a matchup coming featuring a Super Saiyan himself oh, and Matthews for man. the Gators. Antoine Matthews and the Gators at 7 o'clock on the A7FL YouTube channel. As soon as this game is over, we'll be bringing that action live on the A7FL YouTube channel. We'll be calling the action for you, too. And it will be live on our YouTube channel if you not liked 
commented or subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. What's wrong with you? Search the A7FL on YouTube, and we will be live at 7 p.m. Well, let me just give button. Dale J. Rodriguez a... Shouts to Dale, man. Hey, man. Thank we're you, We're doing our best, and you deserve a, a good game getting called. You're a sweetie. And the play action, the throw Let's... deep down field! Oh. Almost Ooh. intercepted! <laughs> and almost in the receiver's hands! Ooh. A little hesitation move by the wide receiver and then an, an explosion, and that's a touchdown. That's not a badly not thrown a, ball. No, it's no. not. That's Risco. pretty good coverage, but that's wow. what you need to see from the force moving forward, not only for the rest of this game, but when they go into next season, they have to evolve from that just run, run, run heavy type of offense because they have the defense at times that looked like they can stop, especially on that West Coast. If they can put it together on offense and have a more balanced attack, and take advantage of some of the, the wide receivers that they have that, that found a little bit of space here in the second half. Right. That's what I would be focusing on moving forward in this game. We know that they, RTC is a, a very good running back very and good. that in the West he's going to be able to get his yardage. Let's find out what we have at the quarterback and wide receiver position at the rest of this, this third quarter winds down with 125 left and another 15 in the fourth. Fourth and eight. Hey, Dale, we hope to see you at the championship too, brother. The snap. Briscoe Pressure. in trouble. He Throws this fly. one. And no flag on that one. Job. And again, back-to-back -back plays. I might have thrown a flag on that one. Jaheed Myers on back-to-back -back plays, making it look easy. I might have thrown a flag on yeah, that one. Yeah, I, I, I might have seen a yellow. I might have thrown a yellow handkerchief from the booth here. But it will be first and ten for the BIC. Briscoe does his best because there's three guys coming quick with pressure. Two are right in his face. He rolls out to his throwing arm, puts the ball in a catch radius for Craig Jones. It's just unable to, to you know, garner it in for the, the catch. It, it, even if he caught it, I don't think it would have been enough for a first down, but no, it'll but bring I mean, first and 10 up for and, and BIC, who looks to try to get 50 up on the board before the end of the third, maybe. Trying to take the 50 boys chain away from the Patterson U. But again, guys, they haven't hunted. Like, that's that's not, that doesn't make sense to me. Regardless of guys, how they Guys, play. they haven't even gotten 100 yards passing yet because it's been so easy for Sterry Codrick to on the ground. <sighs> the force have to pump on fourth now. And it will be first and 10 with 45 seconds left to go. The force burned a timeout on a challenge early in the third quarter. Top of your screen is Ashante Worthy. Two wide receivers set in the slot. One of them at the bottom of your screen. It's Peyton Codrington changing the playoff <laughs> at the line. Peyton Codrington. The snap, and there's the quick screen with Ashante. Ashante Worthy will be taken out of play after a gain of about seven. Peyton Codrington. I'm chuckling to myself because that is a quick screen that immediately two defenders corral. Ashanti Worthy makes that in-breaking juke move, and both of the men go away from the, from the sideline, <laughs> opening up another extra four yards. That's just And there's unfair. a whistle on the play. We'll see what the official has to say in just a second. Timeout. Force. Timeout called. Unsure who called the timeout. It was the timeout on the force. CP3 out today. We'll hopefully see him in two weeks in the final four. But the second timeout taken by the force, burning two timeouts. And as we get deeper and deeper into this game, we might see more variety from this BIC offense and see what happens as they to show the depth and diversity. You may see Ashante Worthy at quarterback. Yeah, I mean, even, even the fans are, are screaming, hey, take the stars out. You know, give them a rest. They, there's bigger games coming. The Trenton fans definitely are. The Vegas fans are as well, but for different reasons. But do the BIC want to keep their starters in? I wouldn't if I was BIC. There's no point. Yeah, get, but get to 50. To prove, but to prove Send a point. Send Ashanti Worthy up top. The point was right proven. Now. The snap. How much more points are you trying to prove here? Codrington just throws this one intercepted. One handed That's by Patrick to Jones. Touchdown, to Vegas. Pac-Man Jones is responsible for two touchdowns right now. Pac, 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 Pac. Ooh. Is that the Gosh. revive? That's the, the revive. revive. Well, he's he's still in the gulag because it's 45 to 12. <laughs> he's still in the gulag, but great, great pick six by Pac-Man. I guess they're not benching That's anyone. the spark. No. That's the spark that's you the spark need. they needed. That's something, that's what they've been waiting for all afternoon. That was definitely afternoon. the spark they needed. 
Look and at just the, come oh. right. And he got it off a of worthy too. Hey man, respect the game. You don't you don't you roll listen, to your left and throw across the field. That's a touchdown. But that's the thing. A wait, good wait, player wait, is going to shine wait, wait. no matter what the score, no matter what's going on. And, uh, Pac Man and Jones here is always going to shine. He's a very good player. He's a talented. I think yeah. he's the best player on this he's team. He's the best player on the team, without a doubt. And you see, and there will be, and this is a uh, penalty that will be assessed after it the. It was worth it. Yeah. It was worth it. See, I mean, it's not going to get him any more points, but it, it was worth it. And it will be a two point attempt. Oh, pardon me, a one point attempt. The marker set at the five yard line. Responsible for all their points right now. Mm -hmm. And you see the BIC defense. I'm still benching them. If I'm BIC. Yeah. I'm still benching everyone. Well, after a play like that, yeah, they I'm deserve to get benched. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm still put rest in my starters. And you, when you're facing either the Gators or the Renegades, and right. they have devastating defenses on either side of the ball. We saw Snag Sosa earlier in the season, and you just that energy across the entire Gators defense. We're going to see that in our 7 o'clock game. Yeah. You also want to have a contingency plan just in case. Yeah. And I don't want to speak it into existence, but it wouldn't be all sides. And, and it'll be false start on the offense. Wow. That's a lot of those. I'm not used to that many false start calls. They've been calling the line of scrimmage and the false start offsides very closely in this game. The refs have been watching with intent on the line. And I don't think it's just because of how handsome Siva is. And it will be. Siva's been playing attempt, a lot of that fullback 10. position. Yeah, he. They. It's almost like they. It's them. almost like they beat Snow Tribe and then absorbed yeah, them. Is that, did that happen in Dragon Ball Z too? <laughs> <laughs> Briscoe will snap and the handoff. The pushing rare. the pile and the rare rush attempt from the 10 on the extra point. That's a rare one I've never seen. That's that play calling. If it was first and goal, that would be a great play. But at the end of three quarters, the the force find the way to get on the board twice, but the BIC find a way to get on the board a couple more times. And this is how we ended the quarter. Will the force find a way to make something happen? We'll find out on the other side. And, folks, if you want to be a part of the A7FL, if you want to own a team, if you want to bring the A7FL to your hometown, the time is now. If you're in Atlanta, if you're in New Orleans, if you're in Miami, if you're in Georgia, if you are anywhere around the United States where the A7FL isn't, and you want to bring the future of football to your house, if you want to bring that Pac-Man Jones level of energy, you can go to a7fl.com slash owners. Revive football in your hometown. 
hometown with the A7FL. And it'll be J and he'll be an opportunity for the BIC on the three-on-one throw-off. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. And gentlemen, an opportunity here for Kason Campbell to return the ball on the three-on-one. Well, and the force on the right track. They've picked off Sterry two times. That's that's a that's a first for this season as the uh, both the, ending quarters too the, ended the first half and uh, the call of duty penalty <laughs> forces them. Uh, it's a live see. ball and that's picked up by Campbell. Campbell hits him with the Huss. Turns on the afterburners. Hits another Huss. Ooh. Oh! Damn. Wow! Oh my God! Crossed him and cooked oh, him. What? No way. Kaysan Campbell no way. is not a human being. No he is an way. apparition of violence. Touchdown, no BIC. Oh, my goodness, man. And the level of confidence that the three-on-one team had to stop Campbell. They looked like they had it, but oh, all of those goodness. cute little moves, they had a purpose, right? Hush, hush, that hush. hesitation gives him the space. Then he puts the brakes on. Then he gets a little bit of space. Another leg and back. Boom. Oh, his leg. Acceleration. Yo, his leg pop. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you try to tackle Kaysan Campbell in the open field uh, in the A7FL. Excuse me, sir. Unhand me. This is not flag. And then bye that bye. cut back, and now it's it. And that's it. It's a foot race. All my, guy, all my guy Dillard can do is, is wait to do his backflips on another score for his team. Goodness. And one of his teammates who's not playing in the game just pointing out, there's the end zone, just letting you know, hey, there, there it is. He did that with the most stoic look on his face. It's, it's absurd. Now he's smiling. Thank you. How stoic can you be running 85 yards and going into the end zone? And now, and now they're just reviewing the tape. I'm sick. I'm sick of these guys. Well, they're, they're all about coaching, guys. We talk about coaching, and, and that's why Carl Meisner's over there is he's making sure – his expertise in football is being spread down as a coach for this BIC team. Carl has handprint indents on his hips. Because those hands are always on his hips. That's right. Well, Carl. they don't lie, and they're they the reason why they're up 51 to 12. <laughs> Carl's hips don't lie. And let's take a look at this again. Oh, Kaysan Campbell, just the great field vision. Hus, hus, excuse me. Well, and these three on one. Look at this leg. Look at this leg. Oh, my God, that, that looked nasty. These three-on-ones emphasize the open field bye bye. nature of this A7FL game and all right. of those hot moves, all of those stutters, all of those hesitations. Can you, 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 see what was, you see what Craig Jones was doing on his opportunities. Right. He's just trying to break free. Kaysan Campbell setting up the next move with the next move, and that's why BIC has two touchdowns on the three-on-one untimed. Can you believe I used to think the three-on-one was unfair to the one guy? I used to think that. <laughs> what an idiot. And the one-point attempt, and we'll go to the officials as. Well, when it's a guy like you or me, it's unfair. Of course, it's terrible. Offense, five-yard penalty, replay try for one. A lot of penalties this game. Captain Planet saying, crazy, he used the tackle to change direction. Yeah. That, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't be a thing, but it is but in it the is. A7FL. Shout-outs to Captain Planet. <laughs> He's a hero. We were talking about we were talking about '86 flashing back. That's 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 just peak '90s right there. Captain Planet. The only the only person Captain Planet himself. The only person with a better mullet than Master Chief. Master mm. Chief, and psycho. Jalen Crooms in motion. And Codrington throws this one and out of reach. He's got something against the big guys. He's been missing them on purpose. <laughs> he just doesn't want to want us to say thick boy season. Well, we, we just said it anyway. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Your plan is foiled, Sterry. Mr. Pate Codrington. And just Only when he makes those. Oh, good play. Yeah, good play, though. The vertical, the obviously, there enough to do the backflip and also make a football play. And just a great performance today from the Trenton BIC, proving why they are the number one seed in the 8 7 NFL playoffs. And now Pac-Man Jones will get the return. Let's see if he still has some spark. Curtis Jones with two touchdowns today. One a pick six and the other one. Worthy a, to throw it again. Beautiful. Second yeah. Time. yeah, and you think you're going to get a, a three-on-one potentially back, and then you see the athleticism in, in Worthy. Yeah, and, and, and Trey JJ. Cohen yeah, and J.J. Radcliffe. Yeah, you're just not going to get it. <laughs> those, are, those are three sub-four-five guys. Yeah, good luck. I... You would need a cow catcher or some sort of bullwhip 
to, to keep them away from you. Say whip one more time. Whip. Whip. One more time. Whip. 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 Am I saying it wrong? Like Stewie. Whip. 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 There's an H in it. Cool. <laughs> you got to pronou cool. pronounce the H. Whip. <laughs> he whips it downfield. <laughs> I see if Pac-Man Jones got some hus hus in him. Excuse Woo! me. Excuse me, JJ. Whoa. Oh, okay. Young man, Cat. Jones, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not outrunning worthy. His, his 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 stop on a dime hesitation move is about a 75 to Ashanti Worthy's 99. <laughs> um, is good attempt. Made good. the first man miss. It'll be first and 10 for the force. So it'll be first and 10. The clock and will start running. And that's why I think Worthy should just go to QB for a series. He played quarterback in high school at a high level, too. Yes, he, he did. Won a he championship, was, he was Mr. New Jersey football. Uh, yeah, right. Well, let's, so. let's take a look at the third quarter stats. And, uh, this is the oh stats heading God. into the third quarter after three quarters of play. Oh my God. It has been a rough day at the office, Dark. but the BIC giving up two turnovers and 204 rushing yards for the BIC. This and, for the, and for the Vegas Force, they, they have multiplied their passing output by four from last week, so that is a positive. Yeah, that uh, the, uh, Briscoe making some clutch throws early on. Also, also the only team this year forced two turnovers from Sarah Cotterton. Mm -hmm. And handoff, and Codrington walking into today on the games of the week. You guys got to be careful. He almost got cracked. Thrown two interceptions, so he has matched. Yeah, on games of the week, only threw two right. interceptions, so he has doubled that. He has doubled that total today. I only threw three this year. That's yeah. pretty good. Oh for me. my goodness! You only threw three, honestly. We well, want to run it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Right, right? Right? It's like it's kind of crazy. Three wide receivers set, two on the line. Over-under was six. RTC. <laughs> he lets it fly again. And that one out of the reach of the receiver, number nine. Yeah, and they've nine. had more success and a better chance doing that, even though they don't hook up there. It was. It, it could have been there. The, the ball's could've. perfectly thrown like the one that he, he dropped in there. I just think he but they have a better chance receiver. of doing that than their bread and butter, which is when they were trying to wedge yeah. the ball into a, a, a seven-man front from BIC. And there was receiver. somehow, even though I, I don't know how this math is possible, there was nine BIC players to the ball every play. It's seven on seven. <laughs> I'm watching something that's insane to me right now. Well, it's because they move at a rate of speed Worthy that makes playing them... corner. I guess they are trying new things. Yeah, they're they're try they're they're experimenting. Yeah, well, if, if what we were saying is to get Ashanti Worthy out to avoid injury, putting yeah, him in put the him position in. to make a tackle on yeah. RTC is maybe not a good look. Tight coverage on Pac-Man Jones, though. Briscoe in trouble and will go down with the ship, and it will be fourth down. It's so tough when when you get quick pressure on your throwing arm. People are like, "Yo, just throw it, just throw it." You can't rotate your arm enough if there's a guy literally on your throwing arm so you have to avoid the pressure and when it's the first guy making a miss great job from briscoe but then there's a second guy as there always has been on every play it seems for the defense bic oh so they're punting now mm, and it will be ricky well they never punt it'll be ricky tate that's nuts yeah i don't know i, I like it i no, like it no. there's no reason for any Special teams, defense, it's all right. offense all the time. Sure, that I'm, helps. I am a quarterback, and, look and that, I look am unapologetically. And we have the Patterson, and some members of the Patterson, you in the chat, Big Mo Ramadan, uh, saying I need to get on the team as a sideline reporter when I'm done playing. That's my guy. Hey, he was the one who represented us uh, in uh, the New York Stock Exchange, right. talking to some big money guys. Big Mo stands for big money. Mm-hmm. I'm still looking for I'm still looking for stock picks. Somebody give me something. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need I need something to come from this game. Big Mo, what you got? And it will be from four, on fourth and twenty. Untimed down. The clock running. Please throw it out. As we get closer and closer to the top of the hour. Somebody just texted me. Hold GameStop. What does that mean? <laughs> And they spelt it wrong. H O D L. Uh, we'll have a talk off the air. <laughs> and this one caught. It's Wall Street Bets. It's a lot of Umar Lewis stepping up today in place of Jason Sisson. And he will be denied, but will get past the 50 yard line. And a big play there for speed kills. And Rob, maybe that's why they. And uh, let's take a look. We've got <laughs> a special clip for you, Corey. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Big look Mo, at my hair. Big Mo first of all, first of all, when you see, him. look at my hair. Wait for oh, it, wait for it. back when he had hope. Oh. 
This is this is, this is oh. one of the most embarrassing oh. three three downs in my career. Jonathan Soltis, who's playing mm. defense for BIC, he forced me to call that run play. Let's go to the next play. Hurry up. <laughs> so what year was this? This was Sunny 16? Yeah. They looked unbeatable this year. Until, well, you know. But um, watch how athletic I am on actually on this drive. And then oh, here, the and here it is. Slam. Oh, Corey. Oh. Don't, don't play me. The uh, next play is a very athletic play by me for what I bring to the, the table. The, the Corey Hammond dark hair variant. The, the rare one. That's, an, that's one, of, one of the NFTs. Watch really this one. escape. Ooh, get off me. Excuse me, Lamberty. Whoop. Oh, completion. Oh. He just cleaned too. My hey, goodness. and when and and like I said, guys, like I said, I've been where Rock Briscoe is right now, <laughs> and I completed Clearly. more passes. And nah, it will that be been the exact game. First and ten. On that stat, though, you saw me. I'm one for Let's one. Let's go, and big fella. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The season. Oh my God! Why is his neck bending like that? <laughs> is it? Is is this a wrestling match? Because he just got choke slammed. Tyler Patricio. Let's go, big fella. It, 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 the season for boys is thick, and it will be second <laughs> down. Ah, ah, ah. The season for boys is thick is crazy. <laughs> Yoda, Yoda just gave a thick boy. <laughs> thick boy season. Slam, it look is. at that oh. thick boy season run. Oh, thick boy season it is. <laughs> Oh, God. And Look the Force the has not slam. been with us today, even though making a Star Wars reference, and we got a Force. Yeah, the Force is not with us. It's not May the 4th. It's June 4th, closer. It's not June 4th, obviously. It's, it's, that's my actual birthday. Oh, uh, happy belated birthday. That was last week. Well, we yeah, said we said birthday. that to you. We said it numerous times, but again, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Years old. And a shout out to our production team today, uh, Mo Ramadan, also giving him a shout. Alex Soberman, our producer, John Kishonen, our technical director on graphics, John Schiavone, and also on replays, it is Ryan DePaul. And shout out to Stats, our David Soberman watching from home. And shout out to all the boys in the front office. Howard, I have a question David for Big Mo. Did you send that to those guys just so that they, <laughs> that could be put on live television? Because they found that awfully fast. It got airdropped. Because I'm that about, was fast. Because in, in in lieu of the great win by Maryland, I might have to send our staff the same the same <laughs> clip I've been sending for the past five years, which includes a cap at the end, a Rob Fabian scoring oh, wow. play. I'm about to send it right now. And it was a smash route. It was, yo, you, you would have smashed him too if, if there was any more field. First and 10. First and 10 off the play. Well, yeah, you guys first. think I'm kidding. No, we know you're serious. You know it's And the handoff, matriculating the ball downfield, and it will uh, be about second where, and six. Man, give me Herschel. Where Herschel at? <laughs> He's coming. I know. I, I, I know. Oh, and we have some more Corey Hammond. Yeah, look at this. Oh, look at, this. Look at the back hands. we yes, are. Look sir. at us. In look one at, frame. Oh, look, look at that. that. Everybody hears me talk about myself, and they look think at, I can't do it. Well, smoke, watch me. He lets it fly. Uh. So the smoke destroyed them. Look at the blocking. Watch out. Look at me in the pocket. I, weigh, I weighed about 20 pounds less here. Nimble. Too. Nimble. A nimble young man. <laughs> and the really handoff again. So oh, hello, sir. Then I'll be a first down getting to the 10-yard line, and that was... And fast forward on that clip that you just showed, because obviously we love watching BIC continue to pile on in the fours, but I think the, the fans at home want to see Big Rob with a catch. <laughs> on a smash route? Oh, look at this. Look at this catch. Oh, that's Pat catch. Coburn, Bobby. who we're going to see in two weeks, and then another Bobby. big throw. Ooh, Troy. Troy's on the U. Me, sir. Just a lot of time. Oh, Pat yes. Coburn. Put him in a blender. Excuse oh. me, sir. Look at the blocking by your boy. My what favorite call of yours from this year was Pat Coburn's going to put this kid in a blender. <laughs> I have seen that does. clip like 90 Big million times. Here comes Smash Bros. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Yes, sir. Come in the Fabian yes, touchdown. Yes, sir. See, people think I'm blowing smoke when I say that I've thrown <laughs> a touchdown to Big Rob. I have. There's evidence. Go for it. Google me. I have hands, ladies and gentlemen. Codrington Umar. throws it up. Touchdown to Butter Umar side. Lewis. And let's be honest, that's better than what I can do. And that's better than what you can do. And that's why BIC is the number one team in this league. I could do that, but I don't want to. By the way, I was on BIC when I was making all those plays. I suppose, well, yeah. That's how long ago it was. God, shout out to Bullet, who just had back surgery, man. We miss you, Oh, yeah, man. we miss we, you, Bull. He's, he's definitely a key piece to BIC and one of the key reasons why I have a championship. And, one of, and, and hey, one of the league leaders in all-time interceptions. interceptions. right. 
Thank you, Corey Price, watching along. That's my guy. Not able to join us today. Well, hopefully we'll see him in two weeks during the A7FL Final Four. Shout out to other BIC veteran, James Sullivano, who was once one of the best tight ends I've ever seen in this league. He was even better when he was a Warriors tight end. Yeah, he was right? amazing. Right, Ant? <laughs> right, Ant? Stop. <laughs> right, right, Ant? Like he's giving him the nudge. Right, Ant? No, he's, he's, he's responding right now. What is he no, saying? No. <laughs> oh, he's texting you personally. <laughs> I thought he was in the chat. <laughs> uh, he lost my number when we changed teams. <laughs> First and goal. One point conversion. Why, why, why? And somehow, no even way. when the play is dead, they still can't get still their hands on him. Uh, CP3 on, on daddy, daddy duty dude. today. I know the vibes. Well, happy CP. early Father's Day to you, sir. Happy Father's and Day, you've brother. got twins, so that's happy oh. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. It's Everything's double. Yeah. Everything. You think one diaper's bad, two, two diapers, diapers, diapers at the same time is, Boy, listen, that's another whole thing. Can't even begin. Yeah, ha Corey, how many gifts do you get for your small island nation worth of children? You have well, the I think you're... you're confusing me with Philip Rivers with the 15 <laughs> but I will I will claim four that have been proven to be mine and <laughs> what I what I say to them is to buy me to make me something because if it costs money it's a waste and it comes out of your pocket oh, oh Trey Cohen Trey. almost with catch of the year oh, tried yeah. to spider-man oh, yeah. that one at this that'd point, we're nasty. looking for accolades. Yeah, that, yeah. that'd have been nasty. And when Mean Mug has got a huge smile on your face, you can kind of, you, know you can kind of, you can kind of sense how this game is going. It has been a long day at the office for the Vegas Force. We'll take a brief time out here on the other side of this one. The Vegas Force will get the ball back, and we will get closer and closer to seeing who's in our final four. It's the A7FL playoffs. Stay right where you are. It's the A7FL playoffs on stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Big Rob Fabian, whom between them have 97 children, uh, 90, 95 of them allegedly Corey's. And here comes an opportunity for the Vegas Force making his way downtown, but will only get to the 35-yard line. You guys joke, but there's that Netflix special about that doctor who did the exact same thing. He was a fertility doctor. I don't want to be in the same oh, breath yeah, as him. You saw bugging, that, right? Yeah, the Netflix documentary. He's bugging. <laughs> let's, let's, let's drop it da back down to 40, because when his when his ticker was at 20, me and my wife look at each other like, 20? I'm like, 20? And all of a sudden, they, they skip they skip interviewing the rest of them, and it's well, like 96. Well, I have, I have negative six children, so you know what? It balances negative. it out. Wow. <laughs> so what you're saying is, is no, that no, no, no. if Let's you were in Texas, there would be a really big no, battle. No, 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 no. no. It's, just the amount, <laughs> it's just the amount of children I don't want to have. Okay. Oh, got you. Negative six. Got you. That's big mo. That's well, exactly look, why I let them have their win. There. No. That's exactly why I let Vegas have their win last week. Yes. And it, <sighs> he says their win last year, though, specifically. And it does feel like it was that long ago yeah, that yeah. these guys were walking off the Asbury Park Stadium on a high talking about how they were going to win the whole thing J justin yuck rampage from from um yeah i and a big oh, screen oh, what a play on the rocket screen ricky tate slowing it down though but signs of life from this vegas team there's no quit in this vegas force team and that's what you got to love about right this I, I love it i love it and and you saw it in the earlier game where the rare breed could have curled up and given up, they but they but fought they until the yeah. end, and, and they got the win. That's what makes these teams special. I mean, the, I know it's just 12 points, but these 12 points mean the world when they've watched BIC give teams donuts. It's, it's big for them. 
Well, and it's something to move forward with next year because what, what the Force have shown that they were able to do in their division is the run and, and the dominance and physic physically. To take the next step and avoid what happened to the Tampa Aces in which they made an a appearance team. last, excuse me, the A team in which they made an appearance and then completely fell off the map this year is you got to add to that running game. Oh, what play. a catch! Ackman! Wow! I, I would have loved to see some of these plays because that's the same play the we saw in the second quarter. that one down. For second or first? In the second quarter. That, that was the same plays that we saw in the second quarter just slips through his hands. Right. With, with maybe a little bit of the stress off because obviously we, we're playing for fun, you could see that the, this forced team this performance today is maybe a misrepresentation of who they are or they're finally adjusting to the speed that the top level of the a7fl brings got my boy yuck in the chat and One when of the reasons why we lost in, in pa so many years ago and the set and the handoff look oh at this my. rtc finally getting out of the blocks <laughs> okay i'm pretty sure there was a whistle he's down they're yeah, calling he him down. down he oh, was down man. ricky Spike. tate ricky tate is is taking this these couple of plays personally and it's that level of, of fire that he brings to the to the game he, at listen, week in and week out that has separated him him as one of the standout rookies on his team. He's scary. He's a he's a shutdown corner. He's about six three. Keeps to up with everyone. Tony Z is starting the hashtag Herschel, and although Bic has to stop, great run. Great run. And when he has the space, he's made the first man miss almost consistently on almost every one of his rushing attempts. It's just when you're making the first man miss in the fi five yards in the backfield, you can still only get a two-yard loss. And RTC again driving the ball down so the field. So with the fold tackle. There's been a lot of chokehold type tackles today. Oh, so. That was so, yeah. It would have been better to see him make that tackle with the Tims on them. Bro, <laughs> stop. Bro, please. Rampage is making a comeback next year. Yeah? Yeah. I'm here for it. Is he talking about a dove, another guy, or he's talking about himself? Yikes, himself. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, yuck. <laughs> Matt Zoe Ryan, Corey tackle. Hammond, big Rob Fabian, Zoe with the tackle on that play. A big, big day for this BIC defense. Somebody needs to get down to BIC and let them know they're calling for Herschel. I think they know. Oh, and making him do. Soltis. Soltis. Salty. Hopping the line on that one. Tried to jump the turnstiles to catch the RTC. But Soltis wears that defensive coach role. So who's going to yell at him for going off sides? Is he going to look in the mirror and yell at himself? He's going to go into the bathroom, look in the mirror, and, uh, you know, denigrate himself for a little while. Shout out to Tom Mascaro, who's going to have to take advantage of that for me. I, I need to hear the uh, thrashing. <laughs> That's a pun, guys, because he used to play for the Thrashers, the thrashers. right? Oh, oh boy. You're good. You're oh, good. That w we're, we're going real, good. real deep into the cuts now. I mean, last week, Matt Ryan pulled out a John Edwards crossing <laughs> over. Kai, no, nothing's going to beat that. I, 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 to this day, unless you show the clip from South Park, second and seven. Snap. Not a lot of time, but thrown yeah. to Pac-Man and Ricky Tate. He's a Ricky Tate nah, is a shutdown corner. That, shut that is a penalty, not... and that is a play that they should have been running all year. And if they add that to their repertoire next year, they're going to be a formidable, balanced offense. You know, we're, we are saying next year a lot for this Vegas team because we're not going to lie to you, 57 to 12 with three it's minutes left. Ridiculous we are not going to, yeah, to, to break back. the rules of broadcasting and say that it is over, but we've seen miracles. But I think and it was a long time ago when he walked the earth. But for BIC, they don't want me to blaspheme here live on air. So it'll be third and seven. Briscoe looking to get another completion, another tally. Three minutes left to go. and Another notch on his belt. If you're watching on Stadium, we'll send you to the program that's already in progress. And RTC JJ. is in progress. Touchdown, Vegas. And we can't, we can't. I can't say it enough that they're still trying. Well, it's one and thing we talk about the rare we, we talk about the rare breed playing to the last whistle. Right. They were in the game. Yeah. For the force to be grinding it out, getting the points on the board, figuring out a way to compete right. at this high level, they have to take this momentum into next year and play every single game as if they're playing BIC. Yeah. And if they do that, they're gonna be very that well. That is off. the journey of champions right the journey of champions doesn't start on the year that you win the championship right. you've got to go through some heartbreak and this is the type of game that can either send them on the one route where they feel sorry for themselves or they use this as a learning uh stepping stone and get better across the board I which they're going to need to i think this is certainly a teachable moment for them i think this is something to where coming out on the other side of this 
they're going to be a better team. They're going to be a more united team. I think the most important development on that touchdown is that with 248 left, and we're going to talk to the fans about Herschel, that gives our guy, Herschel, maybe the oldest player in the A7FL history, but the youngest 50-something-year-old that you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. Right. He's a legend in this league, and BIC has him on the roster, a very valuable roster spot, but he's still on the roster because of what he brings as far as morale, as far as respect. Everybody loves Herschel, man. And if you're a fan at home, we're going to get a chance to see something that we root for every time BIC plays, and that's, that's Herschel time. Yeah. Hashtag Herschel. Hashtag Herschel. And Happy Father's Day to you, Big Mo especially with what you and your family are going through. We love you. We're sending thoughts and prayers and just right, keep enjoying love life. You, love you, Big Mo. And oh, there, man, RTC again getting the one-point conversion. Well, after that change tire, you know, public transportation is back <laughs> and moving for Vegas. 57 to 20. And if you had them at minus, what, 40? They're covering. They're covering. By the way, there's no betting or gambling, so yeah, please you, be clear. Yes. you 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 very you We're just we're saying. just falderalling. But with two forty eight left to over. go, the BIC will get the ball back. There he is. And on the other side of this one, we'll see if the BIC can get on the other side and get on the scoreboard again. But RTC Wilkerson getting on the board with a touchdown and a one point conversion. There's no fight. There's no the force are still fighting in this one. Welcome back to the A7FL on Stadium. I'm Matt Ryan, and we want to take this time to thank the sponsors of the Vegas Force, and we'll see that after this play from Sterry Codrington. Codrington will watch this worthy. one bounce in. Pardon me, Ashante Worthy. It has been a long day at the office, but Ashante Worthy! Oh! oh. Worthy! Oh, I'm disappointed. I if thought the it was line gonna... wasn't there. <laughs> is, it, is it a huss when he puts on the brakes, or is yes. that a... It's a hus. It's a hus. It's a hus. But we want to thank not only everyone here for watching, we want to thank Ashante Worthy for an amazing day of uh, uh, playing, playing A7 football. And we want to thank the sponsors of A7FL Nevada. I'll say A7FL Nevada. Thank you so much to them for their continued support of the A7FL and A7FL Nevada as the Vegas Force look to prove that they belong inside the A7FL. And I would say after today, they truly belong in the conversation for some of the teams in this league. An impressive performance last week and coming out again crossing three time zones. So thank you to NLS Business Strategies, SOS Generation, Excel Medical Staffing, and Mickey's Miracles for supporting A7FL Nevada throughout the 2022 season and excited to see what happens in 2023. Codrington still at quarterback for BIC. And you see Jalen Crooms in motion. Ricky Tate at the top of your screen and Trey Cohen at the bottom. The throw Jalen is to a quarterback. Crooms. Crooms has an arm. Throws Lefty. this one deep downfield. Ricky Tate Ooh. gets that one swatted away by Pac-Man. Pac-Man said not up in here. Uh-uh. And we are at the two-minute warning. And the force have stepped up to keep this game from getting to 60-70 because at times, guys, it felt like it was going to be there. <laughs> and Cohen, at, Cohen dancing like Bagway was prematurely in the first game because he should have just handed the ball off and he lost the game for his team. And at the end, Ed, with under two minutes left to play, we'll see whether or not the BIC will get on the board one more time. Your score, 57-19. This is the A7FL playoffs here on Stadium. When we return, the BIC get the ball. 
We'll see what happens on the other side of this one. It's the A7FL on Stadium. We're back here on Stadium, and we want to thank our friends over at Cricket 5G. You can get four lines of unlimited data for 100 bucks a month at Cricket 5G. Search Cricket Wireless across all social media, the official mobile phone provider of A7FL Cincinnati, A7FL Ohio, and the A7FL. And Herschel finally Herschel. in the game. Herschel. Number 44 right in the backfield. He's, he's at basically right there at the top of your screen. Just put the mouthpiece in. That's Herschel. Michael Walker. AKA Herschel set up to the left. When he was named Herschel, because his name is Michael Walker, that's when Herschel Walker was an active running back. That's to, to kind of date Herschel there. That's actually that's actually a little bit of an exaggeration. But I'm still gonna go back to I'm I'm gonna be going to, uh, back to the chant. Herschel. Second and it'll be first and ten. Second Herschel in motion. Ten. After the two-minute warning, the toss to cop by Chris Codrington. Hunter. Chris Hunter pushing the ball downfield, continues to push the pile. The big fella getting the first down and more, and he will get stopped around the 45. Chris Hunter might be the all-time leader in yards backpedaling. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Baltimore with Chris Hunter once during a game, and he, he had one of the greatest performances of his career. He leads, he leads the league in yap, yards after the push. Yes. Minute 10 left to go in oh, this one. Oh, one more Herschel time. And Codrington behind center, worthy at the top of your screen. What is he doing? Look at Ashanti Worthy right now. What Ashanti is that? Worthy, he's marching? I think he wants to go up top because <laughs> uh, that's where I would go. And the snap, Codrington will keep it. Codrington makes his way downtown. He is moving. He oh, is grooving. He says bye-bye. Touchdown, B-I-C. Bye-bye. And as easy as it looks in the fourth quarter was as easy. Oh. <laughs> he got doinked. That's the only thing he's failed at all day. Uh, right, right. That's the worst. And he's throwing an interception. Uh, Credit the force, do. though. I think that I think the force have out past in yardage BIC but I that's because right. that's because Stereo Codrington may have 300 yards on the ground himself right. <laughs> he has deceptive speed as well like that he's one fast yeah but he's he's also yeah. that level of calm while he's running right he has the ability to change direction because I don't think that that is his top speed most no of the not time at all running. I don't think we've ever seen his top and speed. that's why he's maybe so dangerous one time, maybe one time we've seen his top speed against on the U what, last year when yeah. it was we and you guys beat him? 
<laughs> he was out, though, that uh, one run. You know, you yes, know the yeah, run yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. He was, he was out. out. He was out. I didn't know he was that fast. Me neither. And I found out. Jalen Crooms comes in, taking control of the huddle. You got Verardi there in there, who's been dying to touch the ball because he's been tackling people all season. And Cohen, who only on this team would be that far on the depth chart, yeah. is trying to put some points on the board. But then you got options in, in big guys and double passes and behind the back. I mean, I'm just, I just can't wait to see what the, this BIC team has. The snap, throw, and out of the hands of Burton, and it will be, with 39 seconds left to play, a chance for the force to get back on the board. Yep. Got to do those push-ups. Got to do the push-ups. LJ was screaming. We actually heard him from <laughs> Northern Jersey. And Burton does more than the five. And this will be good for his defensive line play, which he's no, more, norm, more known for. Wow, I messed that one up. <laughs> hey, I hang out with a one-and-a-half-year-old that barely speaks <laughs> any English, so... Sterry Codrington, 202 yards rushing and four touchdowns today. That's just light work, though, honestly. I that is, I, I think that's more yards from scrimmage than than Tampa had today. I you can't hold me to that, but that's an insane amount for just one person running. 202 yards. He's the time. leading rusher in in today's action so yeah. far, and I think it's going to hold even in the seven o'clock game. Not that there's not good running backs on both sides. But don't, don't listen to snacks. Sterry, Sterry Codrington puts up numbers that you see Vince Young put up in, in not in real life, in video games. Yeah. And Codrington averaged in his appearances on Games of the Week 96.2 yards, 1.2 touchdowns off of 7.6 attempts. So doubling by a fair amount. Uh, his 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 game average on games of the week, or when you and there's see been so many openings for in the run that he's barely had to really yeah. you know, focus on the pass. And when he has, he's found his guys. Right. And with 39 seconds, it'll be incumbent on the Vegas Force to return this one. We got to call CP3. That's another and velvet cap velvet there. Cap. Velvet dude. A flag on the play. Look like this one's a delay game will be returned off the whistle. Got that run and start. That'll be a run back from the 25. And here's an opportunity for the force to get back on the board on an untimed down. Cut to the outside, big stiff arm, but nothing to, and a flag on the play, might have been hands to the face. Is that Will Franklin? Let's give a shout out to the refs. You know, very well called games. We we have you know when you when you don't notice the refs as much, even though they've been calling a lot of false and starts and offsides, it's hard to argue with those. But when you don't notice the refs, it's they've called a good game. They've called it nice and tight. They've stayed invisible. The game's been decided on the field, and there's been a lot of dancing today, guys. And I think you know just to go back to the night crawlers, it's it's appropriate to dance when you're up by, you know, near 50, 60. Right. Yeah. When you're up by one touchdown and you have the ability to run out the clock and you don't and you give the win to the other team, it's disrespectful to not only myself, Matt Ryan and Rob Fabian, but all football fans everywhere. I wonder who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Well, if you, didn't, if, you, if you stopped texting former BIC and you guys, then you might know <laughs> that I'm talking about the Nightcrawlers and Mark Bagway, who played absolutely fantastic He played today. lights out football. He did. But it's, all, it's what I was saying all game, and, it's, and I, I'm so glad it came to fruition because as, as poorly at times that Rokeem Chaney played, he was the smarter quarterback, and he right. ended up being the winning quarterback. So OG Buck for you. And, and a final four appearance was made. This ball thrown by Briscoe. Look, deep flag on the play, but Ricky Tate guys, pulls that I'm one down. I'm pretty sure that was Tate a push off on really the defense. Like yeah, but it was a push off on the defense. It was the old Michael. Guys. It was old Michael Irvin left hand. This is what he, he did the same thing to the He just picked up the flag and put it away. No, those were his gloves. Oh, those were his gloves. <laughs> I was about to say, I've never seen anybody <laughs> pick up a flag. No, I feel like he'd be into thrown out pants. of the game. Well, at this point, it would have made a big difference. Ricky Tate knows they're going at him. He's calling, yes. he's calling Pac-Man a baby, but yeah, he, he, really he, he had to he cheat did. to stop him. Yeah, Come on. Did. We got we to gotta watch it. It was defensive holding. Ten-yard penalty. He's challenging them to do it again. 
I feel like he's challenging him to do it again. What he's actually saying is that he is taller than Pac-Man Jones, which is true. <laughs> But it that's does, an empirical th- those fact, facts, but that doesn't really make him a child. Well, those facts do check <laughs> out, and if, if I'm 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 shorter than the, both of y'all, and I think we're all within the same age bracket. But if my man oh. is is going rockabye baby on a penalty against him, <laughs> then the only way to shut him up is to just go up top. Check it, box. L.J. Smith reference once more mm. time. Some KFC. Some chicken. Some Keep chicken. talking about food. Yeah. After I will a torching f- like this, I'd I could go for a some small barbecue. Family for a McRib right now. Thirty-two seconds left to go. What is McRib? I don't know. Not something <laughs> that, I want to it's, it's, I do it's, not want a McRib. First and ten. I, do, I don't want one either. That's just how hungry I am to throw to Pac-Man Jones. He gets single leg whipped by Ricky Tate. He's and really coming at Ricky Tate head up. And Ricky Tate saying some choice words about and, stock picks. <laughs> and this That's one bad. might be the final play of this one. Uh, if it were me, I got a timeout. I'm going twice. Of course and they you call, are. I believe yeah. they're They always say I pat stats, though. Second and 13. You I didn't know. I didn't throw an incompletion today on, on, the, on the highlight reels. <laughs> the oh. snap by Briscoe. Briscoe in trouble. The last play of the game. Briscoe running downtown, trying to create an opportunity. Ricky Tate trying to strip the ball, and this one is all over. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Or in the words of Lane Staley, hey, it's over now. And this one is the BIC making their way to the second straight Final Four, and they will find themselves facing the winner of our next game, the Baltimore Gators and the East Orange Renegades, your final this afternoon into the evening. 63-19, to and in two weeks, it'll be the best of the best here on Stadium, the Final Four. Which teams will make their way to July 10th and the A7FL Championship game? The only way to find out will be joining us live on Stadium at 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. right here across the country on Stadium and WatchStadium.com. If you're watching us internationally, it'll be on Fight TV. But the BIC punched their ticket, so did the Baltimore Rare Breed and the Patterson U. Who will be walking out on the other side? We're going to figure out at a seven o'clock game if you're joining us on youtube we'll see you there if not we'll see you in two weeks it's the final four best of the best a7fl happy father's day